Yep, so we back, y'all. This is, man, the 716 Man Podcast. This is episode nine, Real Life Happens, man. And we on real life, real time. Got your boy Cap 716, a.k.a. King of the Witty Raps. Johnny Armani, yes, the sir. general. And we got a special guest tonight, man. Sky Nitty, man. What's good? Salute, salute. Sky Nitty, what up? What up? What up? What up, gentlemen? Right, Pleasure to be here. Pleasure yeah. to have you. So I wanted to start it. Yeah, I want to start. And I want to make sure I, you know, pass the mic around the room. Um, I know I already chopped it up with you before a couple of times, but just based off of like how, how we met, you know, I, I kind of met you on, online through, you know, the music shit. And, yeah. and um, you know, we kind of was tapped in with some of the same people and I, I've reached out to you and it ain't been ever since. So that that's the type of dope energy that we want to be on this platform. And then from following you. And you got a uh, you got a real dope following too, bro, and a nice catalog of music. So, um, I wanted you to just tell us about yourself, where you are from. I believe you said um New York City, you know what I'm saying. But I want you to just get into your story a little bit. And we, all right, cool, cool. Yeah, well, I'm Scott Nitty. Currently, I'm um, residing in Wyo. I'm in Yonkers. Um, okay. Family, father side of the family from the South Bronx. I grew up in Newark, New Jersey. But you know, what I'm saying it was always tri-state area. You know, I've been um, making music for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, my influences, Nas, JD Kiss, mm. Face. You know, that's my top three. You know, I'm I'm definitely over the last 15 years. I've listened to a lot of Ross, Jeezy. You know, definitely Griselda. You know, I gotta I gotta say this. I need to like put it in put it in another gear you know what i'm saying because it remind me of the music i grew up on like you know the mob deep wool ray and raekwon chef you know ghosts you know, mm -hmm. so um you know i just love the hip-hop culture it was always a part of you know musical talent was always something that ran through my family you know so you know i got bit by that bug and i've been been writing ever since you know i had my hiccups my detours and whatnot but you know, I keep going, and right now I'm I'm in a place where, you know, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I'm learning a lot of different things, but, you know, I think right now we in the profit season. You know what I'm saying? We about to, we about to, we about to get to that, to that, to that level that we've been working so hard to get to over the past, you know, few years. So I'm glad to be out there. I'm glad that, um, you know, it's positive energy that's resonating, you know, because it's a lot of times people are known for everything else except the music. The music comes secondary to the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. you know, I really push the music. But even before that, you know, I want my energy. I want a positive energy to meet the people before they even, you know, listen to the music, you know. And it's for it to be organic and know that it's genuine. It's not just... You know bs you know what i'm saying it's just that's just really what i am you know and, and we'll refuse it what's up yeah so you say you from you said you say you from newark i grew up in newark yeah i grew up in newark like you know my mom's side of the family i grew up there you know my pop side of the family south bronx you know still got a lot of family there uptown even my mom's side of the family a lot of family was in queens and whatnot it's always back and forth, you know, because it's like the traffic makes it seem like it's like so far apart, but it's just but no, across the river from there. each other, you know, a hop, skip, and a jump. I already, I already know. It's like yep. out here in Niagara Falls, Niagara Falls, the shit yeah. right there, right across the bridge. My yeah, family, my um, it's funny that you said that. My father's side, they from Jersey, they from Jersey City. Oh yeah, when so I that's chill first. town. <laughs> yeah, but when I first came out there and met him and shit, my cousins and whatever, they all lived on Avon out in North. Oh yeah, that's that's actually yo, you wanna know what's crazy? That's that's the Clinton Hill section. That's the section I grew up in. That's like the south side of Newark. So it's yeah. like Chadwick, Clinton, Avon, Stratford. So all of that is like it's like a, it's like four corners. So that's like one of the big strips in in, in Newark. So yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, my family from out there heavy, man. I love Jersey. Jersey, my, you know, my my third, second, third, fourth home. I, mean, I got a lot of homes out here. I'm international, my mind. That's what's up, man. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I don't know, I don't know, Scar Nitty, if you've seen your, your, one, of your, one of your brethren from, 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 from the Bridge City, Red Man, they're going on a rampage right now with these freestyles and shit. Man, I don't listen, know Red, Red, Red has always been that dude, man. Yo, when we used to see him growing up, man, he was always like the same person. Always the same person, bugging out, you know, get out, bug out, <laughs> doing his thing, you know what I mean? And he's always been one of the most respected MCs, you know, most definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, coming up in that that era like he was definitely like all over not even just you know east coast west coast, you know east coast you know people worldwide respect him you know even overseas so that's what's oh yeah to. hell yeah now you, you you said the yonkers too uh and i heard you say definitely jada who was definitely top five that are alive oh, yeah. definitely one of my favorite artists too yeah. who, who, who would you say is in your uh in your top five uh dead or alive damn you know what I say, I break it down like this, like my favorite rappers, I'll say my favorites is Nas, Jadakiss, Scarface, um, I used to have like G-Rap and AZ, but it, it, it keeps changing, but definitely my, my, the three that I named is Nas, Jadakiss, Scarface, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, the eras, the eras start, you know, start changing. So I'm, mm -hmm. man, I'm a big fan of Ross and Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There was a time when I was a big fan of, you know, Beanie Siegel. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm influenced by dudes that are lyrical and they have like that, 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 that substance in their music. Mm -hmm. But it's still, you know, I don't like, you know, the music with, with a bounce to it. You know, even the game. I went on a, it was a part. It was a portion of my life where I listened to like a lot of the game music because. Game be spitting. No, nah, he do. Hundred bars, two hundred bars. <laughs> so, right. so my influences can can switch, but I would say definitely my top three. I would say them, but I'll say like to me the greatest hip hop artist as far as like catalog, sales, success, and everything. I would say Jay, I would say Jay Z. Jay Z, you know, just you know he 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 has that it factor. Mm -hmm. you know, like he has the success, he has the capital, you know, and you know, they 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 stop heaven and earth when they know he about to drop. So you know, so I'll definitely say in that category, yeah, I would say Jay is number one. But as far as rappers, three that I that I named, those are my three biggest influences. And I mean that's a dope three. Yeah, I ain't nope. hear no bad names that you named yet. <laughs> no. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm about to say I'm, I'm, I'm. I was looking at your uh, at your Spotify too, and I see you definitely got some joints doing crazy numbers too, man. If you only knew, knew to have, you already. I seen a, a video too. We used that clip for our story that you already drank. Yeah, I, I just want to ask you what 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 inspired line of work. I fuck with that one too. Um, but I want to know what what inspired some of these projects you've been working on. You know what I'm saying, or even some of the, the uh, most recent joints that you just did. I know you just did a show too, um, on the seventh. So, you yeah. know, what I mean, if you want to get into that, yeah, that, that one was crazy. They reached out. A lot of times, I get people that reach out and offer opportunities just based off of um, social media, and that's mm -hmm. why I always, I always try to drill this in people's heads. Just watch what you post, because you could fuck around and chase somebody away with the like you was talking about before, the, the negative energy. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they uh, reached out because of one of the posts and they was like, yo, you know, um, would you like to come through and, and rock our show? And I started doing research. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah hell yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and then you ain't, you ain't got to pay nothing for it. They just, and then they was offering like network opportunities and whatnot. So I was with it. And I like to try to stay sharp with the performances anyway. Right. So, you know, it was it was a dope look last week. It was a dope look. So I, I I was very pleased with it. It was a big turnout too, like the cameras and and everything, the interviews. I just didn't get a chance to do like the podcast interview. That's right. something I didn't get to do. I actually, you know, left like maybe like an hour after the performance and after some networking. Well, shit, you can use our platform right now to shout out the venue or whoever, you know what I'm saying, you feel like, yeah, you know, help, help you put that together. 
Yeah, shout out to Spring Urban Fest, um, All Vibes Podcast. Um, very, very professional. I, I had a good, I had a good dealing with them. I, I would recommend. It, you know? So it was, it was a dope look. If artists were looking to network, mm -hmm. it, it, it was dope. It was a clean spot. It, it, it had like that art gallery type of setting. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it, okay. It was, it was real dope, man. Or up. And as far as like the inspiration for like my projects, if you notice, like the full, um, the full LPs, mm -hmm. called bought, at, bought at a price, and then you got bought at a price volume two. And so okay. um, I was just I was just working on like a lot of different ideas. And so I just said, you know, when you look at life or when you look at anything, it's always a cause and effect, right? And Bro. so the only, the only thing that I, I can see. Hold on, hold on, Scott. Did he just keep that story? I had to stop you because Bro got a song called Cause and Effect. That's why. Cause and Effect, yeah. Yeah. On the yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Sad. You know, when you, when you decide you're trying to do something bigger than the norm, you got to understand that shit come with a price. You know what I'm saying? It, it, people not going to understand your vision, you know, and. So I figured, you know, that's what I was going to base the music around. Since I already had a title, it was easy mm -hmm. titles for the song and then have like a subject matter to write on. So mm -hmm. that was the inspiration. I just start going in on it, you know, and um, the current the current single, the, the, the latest release, which was the, if you only knew to have mm -hmm. um, that came from just when I heard the beat and I heard the hook and I was thinking about everything that, you know, I was, I was kind of going through this year that inspired that record, you know, cause right. it's like, I'm so close to where I want to be that if mm -hmm. I get pushed a light push, I may go right into it. But you know, when you get there, a lot mm -hmm. of people, they look at you and they think that somebody just gave you the shit. Right. You don't know the half. You don't know the half yeah. of. You see me when I'm, when I'm doing this. You see me on the Seven One Six Men podcast, but you don't understand what I went through to get there. You know what I'm saying? Just like they see nah, you, you got you, your you. podcast, y'all got your thing going on. But they don't know how late you go. Mm. They don't know that no, you go without sleep, sometimes without eating. You know what I'm saying? Because you're trying to put you, you're trying to put the play together. Yo, you you, you yep. preaching to you preaching to the choir right now, man. Because everything, I I believe that definitely resonate with, with with all of us. Fires that man, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, because I it's funny because I met Johnny, um, from seeing him on different platforms. You know what I'm saying? Even shout out to the Joker. Um, my first thing I heard about was his song "Bodies in Canada," and then my brother General. I just seen him. He started getting on the stage and doing the performances, like you was talking about staying sharp with the performances. So it made me. That's what encouraged me to start, man. Wait a minute, let me get out my shell. Let me see if I could do this shit too. If it's, it might run in the blood, we might both be the, you know what I mean, talk that shit. So I got inspired off of that though. Um, you know, then with the likes of certain artists, you know, growing up off of like the Tupac's, Big, Hove, Nas, the, the Mount, the Ford, the Mount Rushmore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. That's what's up. Yeah, man. I think we need to get into this sports shit, though. You feel me? I'm real tragically sad about yeah. what Pop Dog. Yes. Scar Diddy said he was gonna be on his Stephen A. His Stephen A. Smith shit. So, <laughs> oh, he put the shades on. He about to get sick. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he be on that Deion Sanders shit, man. We be on Coach Prime time. Coach Prime, man. What happened, Hold on, I'm about to say, damn, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all be trying to leave. Me. Yo, man, I don't even want to do this shit today. Got my shit. They lost last night, man. I can't even do it, man. <laughs> last week too. We had to, we had to do it. We do it every week. You feel me? It don't even matter. Yeah, no, that's a fact. Now I, I picked up the wrong joints. Them was the them just just got a, a prescription in them. Now I was about to go blind just now. So like I was saying, though, my boy T12, my boy T12 came back magically, and that's all they've been missing. You see, what yeah, I mean? without. Oh, they're not really gonna go too far this year. Next year, mm -hmm. I don't know. They might, they might snap up something different. But you see what happened when twelve ain't on the field. 
on defense though, I don't know. He was getting cooked up. Boy had him dancing out there. You know, you so, Travis Hunter? Talk yeah, to Travis Hunter? Yeah. Yeah, Travis Hunter. I didn't see the game. Okay. Yeah, I know they I know they lost. That's all I really know. Yeah, about to say so what's the what's the debate? Because we need something to, to 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 debate. What's the debate with this joint? Like fires them losing or what they you know what I'm saying, what we think their record gonna be, if they're gonna make a bowl game. Like I think they're gonna make a bowl game. A bowl game I definitely think to make. A bowl game so what? to make. All they gotta win is like five, six games to make a bowl game. That, that's what I mean. You feel me? That's 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 off the rip. They're gonna do that. So that's that. But how you just blow a whole 29, you feel me, point lead? 29 nothing at halftime. The debate. Ain't even that half yet. Like, it was that before half. Let them score. No, they, they, they went to halftime up 29 nothing. Nah, nah. They scored before the half. Right before the half. The last play. The last um, drive before the half. Oh, okay. Watching this shit. Yeah, I didn't even I, I didn't even see it. I didn't see the game. But you know they definitely been 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 the talk of uh, college football. You know what I'm saying. So, but I didn't I didn't see the game. I didn't know if they um won or if they lost. But, you know. uh, it's all good. We feel you. We feel you win, Sky Nitty. You, you you already know how Dion is. Like he yeah. gonna bounce back. Like he, he might take an L, but he'll never take a like he ain't taking a whole L to the head. Like he'll just take a hit. Like he'll be back. Nah, if if it's anything like you know when he when when he was playing, you know he 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 prom time man. It's one of my favorite athletes of all time. So you know I think it's right. in his players, and like he said, I think I think um I think they're gonna make a bowl game. But you also know that because of his style of doing things, you know it rubs people the wrong way. So exactly, yeah, gets him. But you know, as long as he winning, you know, he shut them up. But every loss, you know, they like, oh, mm-hmm. see, 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 you know what I'm saying? But I, I think they'll bounce back. I mean, it happens. You yeah. Know, you, you never know. So, yeah. It's crazy. It, to me, it's crazy that they be happy when he lose. It's like, to me, he a, he a positive black, black figure for us. You know what I'm saying? He definitely helping them kids out. He changing the way that they got to do shit. And every once in a while, shit got to get shooken up. And now all of the recruits gonna want to go play for them. They 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 worrying about them nil deals. They know they playing for a hall of fame that that care about those kids and, and got their best interest at heart. So a lot of them people mad because they see that they already know that they power about the, you know what I'm saying that shit might be coming to an end because in the next year or two, them boys gonna be fighting for the national championship. Yeah, yeah bro, I believe I mean, that. Yeah. Let's see. I'm about to I'm about to show y'all the screen. We gonna look at it see because it's looking real tough i don't know if they're gonna win another game at all <laughs> oh man <laughs> no but yo but yo cap i'm gonna tell you why they, they, they don't like him like he 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 a, he a successful black man who's loud and brash like that's always like that's always gonna be opposed like look at levar ball levar ball raised three nba players it, what they what they, what can you say to that this this father brought three dudes into the league but they still hated on him. They still always criticized him. Floyd Mayweather, he was undefeated, but because he talked shit. Exactly. I was just about to say that, you know, like people, Floyd did those numbers because people, people would chime in to because they wanted to see him lose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a fact. And, and he he just wouldn't. And even though he's undefeated, they look for ways to say, "Oh, okay, well, he he wasn't he was a boring fighter. He was he didn't fight nobody. He fought yeah. the four pros. All of those men had to go through the gauntlet to become pro. So how you gonna say they didn't fight nobody? That he didn't fight yeah. anyone. If you think you didn't fight anyone, then you go fight one of them. Yeah, <laughs> go running for five rounds with one of them and tell them they they nobody. Mm-hmm. And it's." It's like you know when you when you start to become confident. There's a difference between being confident and cocky, right? You know, and Dion never came off as a as a cocky person. He always came off as very very strongly confident, and he and he can back his shit up on the field. Exactly, and that's what count. He played yeah. baseball and and football. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he was a dual dual athlete. He was an athlete. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
you know, confidence, that's 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 even something you got to always think about. Like whenever you say, whenever you start to feel confident in what you're doing and you step out on faith and you stand on what you're going to stand on, it's going to rub people the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Used to you wanting to live in mediocrity, but when you say, "No, nah, I can do this," yeah, I'm I'm coming to win. I'm not I'm not coming to participate. I want to win. Right. That's what Coach Prime is doing. He's he's trying to teach them young men. Listen, don't just be happy that you're coming to this program. Mm-hmm. I want to win. I want I want some bowl. I want some championships. You know, I don't see anything mm-hmm. wrong with that, but. You know, we we also living in the era where, you know, it's okay just to belong, just to participate or to be included in something. You know, right? They don't like competition. That you know, that that's re- definitely not. You know, what I'm saying like that. I think that play a role in it too because I look at it like this. And it's kind of it's still on the same type of topic though, but like even look at what Steph Steph Diggs been going through with his sideline antics or whatever. But shit, Tom Brady was even in his comments he said I don't want to name no other names, but I knew he was talking about like Tom Brady be cussing motherfuckers out. Ain't nobody really never questioned if Tom Brady was in the wrong for when he go off, but when Steph Diggs go off, it's an issue. So it's always when we do something, it's frowned upon. Like oh, like we scaring them when we get mad at, or we get um passionate about whatever we we speaking about and i think that's fucked up so like you know what i'm saying one more games and they was projected to win right now they was only projected to win three games they mm-hmm. they four and three right now all right so let's talk about it since you want to bring it up i got the screen bring it back we're gonna get into it the last five games next game is ucla number 18. Mm. that's a dub or that's a loss it could go either that's way i mean loss. I say it could go either way because I mean they lost by seven to USC and they in the top ten. They beat uh TCU when they came off playing in the championship last year. So and the way them boys play, like you never know. They was up twenty nine nothing. They just stopped playing defense and shit. The offense kind of got complacent. So I just yeah, say it's, it's a it's a like talk up. Sound like an L. Mm. All right, fifteen. Um, Oregon State over here at fifteen. That might be another nail. <laughs> might, might be another Dutch. That might be another Dutchy. Might be another split star. You heard? <laughs> Drag on. It is a tough. Arizona. I can yeah. see that. That 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 could, that could be a win right there. Arizona. Yeah, they should win that. I think. State over here, you might got a chance to come pull a magical one. I don't know who they are. You feel me? Same same predicament. You can't put them shades back on, Johnny, if you keep saying they got five straight losses, man, because Coach Prime going to say you don't believe. Right. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to say they can get three out of five. Man. Three, three out of five. five. I wouldn't be surprised if they got four out of the five. I would be surprised if they went five and over. I would, if, you know, for the to win all of those games. But I would say at least three out of five. Yeah. That's definitely, definitely three. Cool. Well, I can believe it because they and they can play. You know, yeah. so those other teams they they're in the ranking, and they were just a few weeks ago they were ranked too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just they they have those you know those back to back losses, and of course they're not going to be in the top 25. You know when they're projecting everything, but I'm looking at the schedule and they, and, and they can actually play. They got a great coach, like you said, a Hall of Famer. I believe he can motivate them at least three out of five. That that's what I would say. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if they do four out of five. And then and because I look at it like this, like Travis Hunter was hurt for them two big games they had back to back. Like dude for Colorado State did that dirty play on the sidelines. And who knows if they might have beat USC. USC got one of the worst defenses in college football. And they put up 41 on them boys and they gave up 48. I feel like if Travis Hunter was in that game. You know what I'm saying? That might be another W right there. So I feel like even these ranked games they got coming up, they gonna be in they gonna compete. As long as they got their core dudes, they're gonna compete. You know what I'm saying? So I say at least two, if not three. They're gonna win two out of the last five, maybe even three. But I, they knocking off one of them ranked teams, if not two of them. Yeah. I say I say Oregon State or Washington State, they got a chance with that's pretty much it. But um Utah. 
Yeah. Utah looking nasty. I don't even know the name of their quarterback over there, but they looking nasty. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Utah looking yeah, I'm just going by the percentages. Like they got some, they got tough games lined up. But everybody that's on their schedule, they looking at them as a tough game too. Yeah, they ain't a yeah. walk, they ain't a, they ain't a pushover. So yeah, it can go, it can go either way. Yeah, no Tupac your jewelry, no joke, man. Tupac your dizzy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's what they be calling them on. It is what it is, man. Tupac your door, man. You know, right, we right, fought right. with Mason and Cam and them. They Mason Cam and them changed the game. That that kind of inspired us, I think, even more. Like we was doing our podcast. We did the podcast before this, but we just brought it back with, with the three of us. But you know, just seeing what they doing, us coming from a rapper standpoint, that was inspiring. I'm saying seeing them do, and they only talk sports. We talking sports and music. I think we might have had our shit a little bit before theirs. No, that's what I said. The first one we did was before they shit got. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't even know if they started or definitely wasn't lit yet when we started it before. We just was. We just was on the humbug, like yo, let's go. Yeah, but yeah, that's, boy, really funny. Dope. that's that's dope because you know you got you you got different different content, you know, mm -hmm. and this music and sport music and anything, you know, it goes hand in hand, especially hip hop. You know, no matter that's what the, it, it goes hand in hand, and you know, we all are in, we're inspired by that. You know, you got athletes. Mm -hmm. It's more, it's a lot of athletes that want to be rappers, it's a lot of them. Mm -hmm love to be rappers they would love to be able to spit you know what i'm saying so yeah you know and a lot of us that made music we have a athletic background too you know even if it was right. even if it was you know combat sports in the streets you know what i'm saying yeah. we got <laughs> you know what i mean but yeah it's it's dope man it's a dope setup you know nah. tapping on the joint too on, on joint too cap i know you on there yeah, but speaking about the athletic rappers or whatever, however you want to put it, yeah, let's talk about J. Cole, man. Like, how you feel about J. Cole stepping into everybody arena, getting busy over there? Like, yeah, that's dope too. Like, yeah, man. I man, listen, I, I seen him play. Like, he he got a, he got a game too. Like, he got a he got a decent game. But I think a lot of people they look at it because that wasn't his first that wasn't the way they were introduced mm. to him so yeah. they feel like he kind of like you know when master p master p was a ball player before he was a rapper you know what i'm saying but at least he made it to the nba like so you feel me it's a different yeah. level that's what i'm saying and it's like they didn't know that but even then they was like man he what are you gonna do against such and such such and such such and such but you don't realize that was his background before he got serious about the music and then once he got his up he got his business straight he was like listen i'm i'm still pursue this yeah you know what i'm I saying like it, it go hand in hand like how you were saying like yeah you it's, walk it's down the street hand, bro yeah. you know we walk down the street any nigga could spit the same way any nigga could you feel me the bar push you your ankles up <laughs> Niggas got game too, so I feel yeah. Like, man, you he, see, you see, hit, hit boy, hit boy, holla. He be he, he always be representing his basketball background and his battle raps and shit. Like, and people use that against him sometimes too. But yeah, this shit just like this shit is like it fit like a glove. Hip hop, music, sports, any type of you know what I mean. That, they, you can't really separate those two. Yeah, and plus it's the way that most of I'm, I'm pretty sure all of us we grew up around where yo in our, in our environment. You was balling or you was you was rapping you know yeah, like yeah. what big say either you you know you got a wicked jump shot you know yeah you know crack, crack, crack rapper you got a wicked jump shot <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i think that's like you like we was just saying man it's hand in hand and it, it's a dope thing man because we're not we're, we're very versatile we're versatile mm -hmm. okay? and that's why i think we connect you know so good with like uh other people because we're very well versed with what we do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. no and i like music music like you said with everything because one thing about music is it bring people together man like yeah. you know you, you i think about it from i wasn't in that era but even like the hippie era where motherfuckers just want to smoke and listen yeah. to some good music you know what i'm saying like it, it's that that's that's the shit that i like like that's the way if i want to be on where the music is what bring people together versus it you know having us against each other and shit so yeah like word up like i actually had like a few 
it might have been a month ago i had that conversation i was like yo man i mean i think music it may bring people together more so than sports and sports you know brings people together but people mm-hmm. love music. even if you go back to like you know you know the civil rights era when you had sam cook you had all these guys you know when you had when marvin gay made you know what's going on you know and it's like when you listen to his lyrics and you listen to what he's saying it's like all people was like damn like yo he he, he he's really he's really saying something and it makes people really think and reflect yeah because oh, when you words, get people words, yeah. you mentioned tupac you know what i'm saying like Pac was the same way like I, Pac is the most influential hands yeah down. hands down my favorite rapper man all time the most influential yeah. you know because of his background you know moms was a panther mm-hmm. you know, very revolutionary right very, very articulate and the crazy thing is you know he, you know he um he passed so young mm-hmm. but it's like he lived a full life yeah right he ain't even reached 30. Yeah, yeah. but it was like he had already lived a full life did everything like, the music like, the movies <laughs> yeah he like, like oh he was an old, an old man he got a bald head and shit. damn look at him <laughs> crazy Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy though, but I'm thinking about it like me. I, I know music and sports are important, but really music is more important because yeah. when you really think about how it impacts you, like when you watch a sporting event, you feel good for that moment. Like your team won, yeah, but a, a powerful right. song, when the, when the song is off, that shit might carry you for some days. Like whatever them, them words might might have hit, depending yeah. on what the time, it, it could carry you for days. Like yeah. whatever, like how. Yeah. So it's like to the strength in music to me is like shit. Athletes listen to that shit, getting ready for the game. That's yeah. how that's how they getting they. You know what I mean? Like they they working out to this shit. Like so, yeah. I gotta get like the notch the music over sports. Just fire I mean, that. Shit, you got DMX was slipping. I always these like songs I used to go to. Black Rob, Life Story, um, yeah, no, Nori, yeah. Nori, Nori. I love. My, yeah, Man. Nori. I love. My, it's just certain songs oh, yeah. when you hear them, and, and I can name a whole bunch of Pac songs. I want to go back to the Pac topic because speaking of Tupac, yeah. it, the big thing right now, the Keefy D shit. Do we think, you know what I mean? Did he got something to do with this shit? Is it going to be any real justice for Pac family after all these years? Allegedly. Like, that's allegedly. a, that's a, that's a huge allegedly. topic right now. Gotta say allegedly, man. Don't know, don't need no libel suits. Allegedly. Alleg- I said, no, I said, do we think that he might have something to do with it? I, don't, I, don't, I wasn't there. I don't, oh, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what happened. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say, I, I, I don't know what happened. I just know I was in school when all this transpired. Yeah, yeah. Thank, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, that was my right to the Fifth Amendment. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's just wild that like, after all these years, man, we still, it's still like a mystery. It's still like Elvis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bruce Lee. It's, it's one, yeah, Bruce Lee and all that shit. Shit, JFK. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That matter. They that 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 rabbit hole is like that shit is deep. <laughs> right. You know I, mean? so, like, I wanted to say this. Oh my bad. I wanted, I, I wanted to say this about that. Um my bad. I ain't mean to cut nobody off either. But what I hate about this shit though is that the the person that killed these people get famous like nipsey hustle killer like they be taking away some good dudes from us some powerful figures in our communities and and just in the world and then the motherfucker get we only notice because you attached to taking out one of our our malcolm x you know what i'm saying like our, our version of some shit like that it's like yo that's the shit i really that's why i do hope it's some justice but even with getting the justice like man i still don't bring him back man and, and from a selfish standpoint of, of us being artists and fans of music, like, man, you know how much shit we miss far as movies and more music from him and more knowledge for everybody. Like, yo, he he was a leader, man. He was just a natural born leader, man. And it's like that that's the that, that that's the most inspiring figure to me. I want to say probably in my whole lifetime, just based off of what he stood for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah that's a fact. Yeah. Unfortunate. This unfortunate with everybody who um who, who was affected by you know what i mean because like i said i wasn't 
wasn't there. You just hear hear the stories. You have a diff, you have perspectives and whatnot, but you know, in a nutshell, it's just like, damn, like, yo, you know, you go your entire life with this dream, and then you live in that dream, and then you get pulled back into the very thing that you worked so hard to escape. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the that's the that's the part about it. <laughs> It's just like, damn, like, you mean to tell me you can work that hard to get out of the situation just to be pulled back into it and then to lose your life to the same stuff you was working so adamantly to try to avoid, you know, growing up. So yeah. that's what makes it so unfortunate. And that's, that's something I get nervous of, like, with the artists coming up today. You know, if we want to segue into like the online beefing and whatnot. And I'll be like, damn, like, yo, y'all so much more money. You could do all these different things for different people. You you don't know how many people you these they're they're employing with their mm -hmm. with their success. And all it takes is for you to get you to get bagged or God forbid something happened to you. Mm -hmm. You know who gonna be affected by that? Yeah, that's you know, real shit. Over over something that, like you said earlier, you was talking about, yo, all it takes is a phone call. That's if it. Nobody got hurt, if nobody mm -hmm. got hurt on them, you mean to tell me you can't pick up a phone if you got a problem with somebody? Yeah, it might be some screaming. It may be aggressive, but ain't nobody getting hurt. Right. You know what I mean? And and that's, that's the fucked up part about it. Like, yo, we go our entire life trying to get out of this situation. And then to get there, you know, in a position that, yo, you got dudes in jail that wish that they could be in that position. You got people on the streets that wish they could be in that position. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you got people who are there, they want to beef. And I'm not saying it's not legit. Right. And mm -hmm. nobody, nobody was harmed, nobody got taken from anyone. You mean to tell me you can't make a phone call or you know meet meet on neutral neutral ground you ain't got to speak you ain't got to be friends mm -hmm. let's, listen man Let, let's continue to get this money let's continue to make these moves because that, and, and that's the thing i want i want i got to chime in on that just because yeah. it's i i'm going through this shit like yeah. and i've been in situations with other people who I know the, the situation was way more uh, serious where it could have went a different way and cooler heads still prevail and it never even turned to that. So that's why I look at it with the music part of it. It make it kind of goofy to me because it's like you must be doing this for clout then because it, it got to be it got to be a catch to this because I'm like it ain't it ain't no real situation there. So when I know it ain't no real situation, I usually tell people that like I'm not going to entertain it. You know, even on my nobody song, I said. They'll sit around and write a diss song. Dumbass could have been on this song. Like you, yeah. you sitting here dissing me. We could have been making money together, nigga. Like that's yeah. that's retarded to me. It's like it's it's hustling backwards, and you know, yeah. and it just showed the cloth that some people be cut from. Like we grew up, you know, I can speak with my bro. Like we grew up in a respectful household. Like I know how my mom's, you know, try not to take no bullshit, but it's like I'd rather try to talk something out if it could be talked out. That's usually gonna be the first thing I want to do. Now, if my back against the wall, I don't have no choice but to defend myself. So that's, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm never leading with that. I'm always, you know, I'm, I'm never going to really be the aggressor at first. I don't want to start no problems. I, I want peace. Like, a lot of the stuff I rap about is my past. Like, I, I make that clear. Like, I rap about shit, shit that I've been through. But that don't mean it's dumb to get it to a certain point in life and still just try to go off of that energy. That's like you haven't grown up or learned nothing. If you still, if that's what you leave with first, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you don't, you, you shouldn't underestimate nobody. Like, I'm not going to underestimate nobody else, but you also shouldn't underestimate me or no other man. Like, I'm, I, I got a family, I got kids to make it home to. So what do you think I'm going to do to do that? <laughs> like, what, what extent you think I'm going to go through to make sure that that happened? It's like, if we keep that in mind, then we should be, we, we all got families. We all got loved ones that care about us. So if that's the case, we should keep it on some cool shit or... You know, I don't know, man. 
that's a fact, bro. I was, I was going through the same shit up here, so I was watching niggas. Like, I don't know if you know, bro. I live out here in the falls in Canada and shit. So I had moved up here. I, I got around the one dudes. We was, you know, they're like, oh, you feel me? We, we was clicking or whatever, however you want to put it. it was clicking. That's thing, you know, they're like, oh, ain't no other rappers around her. Because I'm like, yo, I see the scene ain't really jumping out here. Like, ain't nobody really around. Like, the whole area is just kind of dead. So it's like, where everybody at? Like, who rap around here? Like, oh, ain't no other rappers. Why is it blocked? So then long story short, like, you know, he was doing the ads. So I'm pushing the ads. I'm dump, I'm bumping into um, producers. I'm bumping into other rappers and shit. So I'm like, okay. So I start asking them about who, who these dudes are. They're like, oh, no, they the ops. And why is it blocked? whatever whatever so i'm like all right cool so you know they y'all ops they ain't my ops but yeah all right cool but these dudes seem like they decent people so whatever the one dude invited me to the um to the podcast so i had noticed i had went and did the podcast with bro and whatever because he got a little podcast he do out here in um st catherine's i go to the podcast i noticed they start acting a little funny now next thing you know I, um, I mess around, see them on Instagram, they trolling, they, they putting up some little funny joint, because, oh, no, what happened was I did a show, so I put them on, I tried to put them on for the show, it's a show in Toronto, I got booked for the show, it was another slot, so I'm like, yo, man, it's another slot, I'm gonna put your boy on, y'all boys come out here with me, I got the whip and everything, we all, we just get out there, let's go, whatever, I guess they was feeling some type of way. I end up taking one of these mans. So now they acting like me and me and him, you know, acting some way against them or some shit. Like creating little creating narratives and shit. You know how that shit go. Yeah. I'm like, man, I'm trying to put y'all niggas anyway. I'm gonna get there if, if y'all coming or not. You feel me? It was my show. I'm going. I'm trying to create a create a lane for y'all to eat too. Like y'all from around where I'm from now, because I live out here. Let's put on for the reason. Let's put on for the town over here. Nah, boys acting whack. Next thing you know, they on the ground trying to troll. That's when I dropped the bodies in, in bodies in Canada. But the funny thing is, the dude who who put um, who I was recording with was like they man's on the low. So he the one who produced the song. So he coming back with to me like, yo, let's do like you gotta do some more shit. Like nah, nigga, I figured it out. You they man's too, bro. Like you feel me? you on their time. But I see in the little videos with them. I ain't really got no problems with you, but I see who you with and who you associated with. I'm gonna just treat you accordingly. So all right, cool. Now I see him and he Muslim and he say he don't he don't listen to music no more at all. So I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> like six yeah. months later, so I'm like, alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, yeah. All this shit. I'm like, because I kept telling them, like, bro, I'm from with people getting murdered over stupid shit like this, especially a song like you come through this and you on the internet trolling, boy. The boys will take your life real quick around here. Like, you feel me? And people really dying over this, these stupid little rap songs that you're putting out here. I'm like, I'm watching it in my community, my little cousins, like, right here in my hood. That's the thing. It's the, it's the Willie Lynch mentality, man. It's like, Crabs in the barrel, you know, we got a bigger enemy against us sometimes and we don't even be seeing that because we so busy going at it with each other, man. And it's like, sometimes it ain't no way around that. Like, you know, I, I don't want to say there ain't no way around that. It's just us educating ourselves, teaching teaching ourselves first and then teaching each other. So, you know what I mean? That's why this podcast is good because we get to touch on these type of issues. Like you like the title, Johnny Kent, Real Life Happens. And I ain't never know that story behind bodies in Canada. As many times I'd asked this nigga about the, what inspired the song. I'm glad we had this episode because right. now we got a behind the scenes story of where, cause it's one of my favorite songs from John. I never knew what the story behind it, but yeah. it's, it's looking at the dope song and I write aggressive rap sometimes. So I don't, I never take it from the other person's standpoint that they think he talking about me. I don't think about it like that. I just think about it. Like I'm just coming up with some dope lyrics. And I'm, you know, I'm speaking up from my perspective. It's Nas wrote from his perspective. You know what I'm saying? Project Windows. He wrote from what he's seeing going on around him. Maybe some of it pertains to him, and maybe some of it is based on what's happening in this community. So I try to think that that's what I'm doing. I'm painting a picture. You know, we are artists. We painters. We painting pictures. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Right. Yeah, that's why I rock with Method Man, though. Like, that's like my... That's probably my favorite rapper, but 
I know he ain't the best rapper. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't crazy all the way, but that's still my guy. But he always moved with mad love. Like if you think about all of the collabs he done did over the years, like even dudes the Wu Tang that really fuck no, with. He, hold on, Joe. How you gonna? How you Huh? Going back, give a backhand cop of dogs. See, now we get to debate about something. I'm glad you just said. Oh, Wait a no, minute. I said, no, I always said that. Man was my yo, you, I never you, said that. I, I grew up. I grew up knowing about Wu Tang. I grew up knowing about Wu Tang and Outcast because of you, bro. So, Method Man is your. That's that's your dog. And let's go off of this. Who else could say that they was on E and they might have had the best verse? They was on a verse with uh. Shit, even recently with Conway, the 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 the, the, uh, the lemon whatever uh, song they got, yeah, he might have had the best verse. It seemed yeah. like there's something else I'm, I'm leaving off too that he was on with somebody where, like, so he when he put his pen with the best people, he be killing shit. Yeah, no, I know, man. I don't. You can't. You don't. Don't. Hey, 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 hey. Stand down, cat. Stand. Down. I want to debate, man. It's, this my. Now nah, this my. You know, no my we don't debate, man. It ain't no, no I fun. Know. <laughs> I know, I feel you. You don't want me. You don't want me tiptoeing around the shit. No, yeah, that's yeah. my guy though. But yeah, yeah Scott Didi don't know what we. Scott Didi don't know what me and you got into last week over this type of shit. Yeah. You don't know. He, this is what he do, Scott Didi. He he make a point and then he and then he do the go the Dion tap dance away <laughs> from what the fuck what was going on. Like, nah, you got to stand on that part, man. <laughs> yeah, my, but my whole point is that yeah. over the years, like you really never caught him in no bullshit beefs. None of that. Like he always show love. He always rock with other artists. He give love to the new artists. Like, and that's yeah. the energy we need, man. That's all. That was my yeah. my point. Though. Longevity and 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 to go back to meth. Mm -hmm. Yo, I had a conversation a few years ago. I said, if you want to talk about top ten verses ever, mm -hmm. not like about two verses in that top ten of verses ever. Mob Deep Extortion, I swear mm -hmm. that's one of the best hip hop verses I ever heard in my life. He, mm -hmm. murdered. when you talk about Triumph, he might have had the best verse on that, bro. I, I forgot bro. about yeah, on, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. He he came in as the world turned. Come on, yeah, come on, yeah, no. Some <laughs> he was in his bag for real. On Not, bless, bless the glow with my with the pestilence. Come on, man. In the streetcar named Desire, got my back in the line of fire, holy gap. What? Yep. Got my whip fried like a bad perk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, yeah, he went crazy on that, man. So, Matt, shout yeah, out. He different. Yeah, shout, big shout out to Matt. That, that's an honorary. Yeah, no. that's, okay. that's the thing with music, though. Like, everybody make an impact. That's why you almost can't go wrong with somebody top five. Somebody might have method in their top five. Somebody might have Lil Wayne. Somebody might have J. Cole. Somebody might have Eminem. You know, somebody might have Fab, Jada, Styles. Hey, uh, you know, Drake. Biggest that's Dra yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you almost can't go wrong. It's like, because music well, is timeless, man. I think it's that guy, Ross, Kanye. Yeah. Yep. You feel me? Me too. Because Ross is definitely one of my favorites. Like, especially. Ross make the best albums. He's to me, crazy. Ross, like. As far as I, I, this, this what I'm, this what I'm saying. As far as like, as far as like, um, if you compare, it, cause deep like, deep let's deep. say we we can name any of the top artists, Jay Z or Nas or whoever, mm -hmm. we know they're great. But like when it when it go to playing from song one to song thirteen, Ross he picked the right beats, man, and, and you could just ride to his his whole album every time, damn near. Man, listen, Teflon Don. That's all I'm gonna mm. say. Mm -hmm. that, that whole yo, that whole shit was on the radio. On the radio, you remember that wave, like yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Shout out the Ross too, man. Every yeah, you know, I think, yeah, I think he definitely. The wave and he put from, niggas like, on. Every, every, every song on your album being a single, he might yeah, have yeah. the way where everybody like yo fuck it, I'm just dropping singles. Yeah, <laughs> call it an album. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's yeah, 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 monster. Bro, yeah, that's and that's what I'm saying. It's different. That's what's dope about it, man. You got different yeah. styles. You got different things that people bring, and every so often you get somebody that just you be like, "Damn, yo, I, why I couldn't come up with that shit?" Like, yo, man, hey, word. It was a time I was caught up on Jeezy. Like when somebody, I remember when people used to ask me, you know, and, and all of us as artists, somebody might have asked all of this before. 
who who would you say if you could think of somebody that you could compare yourself to who would you say you sound like i used to tell people sometimes i think i'm a mixture between jeezy and j cole i said because i feel like i could go in either direction with it and i remember when um jeezy had that song it was the intro to one of it i don't know hypnotize hypnotize you are hypnotized i commend you niggas to get money man i'm waking up to that shit. i feel like he done put an eight ball or something in my in my pocket and like i got no choice but to go do something now like he didn't gave me an ounce of, I, I gotta do something now this nigga, that song was really hypnosis to me during that time frame in my life you know what i'm saying and it was like that's what i'm saying music it's about the feeling from music that's why it's hard to compare Pac or big and say who was really better based off of lyrically this or that what about what those words meant to you they they use even as a crack fiend mama you always was a black that line by itself mama, yeah, yeah, yeah. like come, it's certain things that's just powerful and then that's why rick ross could be on a song i always use this to people that try to put people in different classes i used to take my son to school one of his favorite songs to listen to was with yo gotti i don't know if it was yo gotti featuring j cole or j cole featuring yo gotti and um i can't I can't remember the name of the song, but I used to take it and, and we play we had that song on repeat. It was his favorite shit. Now he a good kid, get 90s and all that, never got in no trouble, but that was his favorite fucking song every time we used to ride to school. I, I want to find the name of the shit so I could I y'all remember it though. Um started from the bottom, something, something, um uh there's no love for a nigga. The streets got no son. Uh, it, 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 um I, I think it's Gotti on the hook, I, I want to say. I, I heard that shit. Yeah, I used to play that all like that was it was on repeat, man. Johnny should know Johnny. Uh, 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 I know uh, Cole in his top five. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What about it? Mm -hmm. Would you say in the about? I it? can't remember the name of that. I don't know the name of it either. I think I'm about to look. I'm about to look for that shit. I see my boy Asiago on here. Asiago on the live. T Blaze on the live. Y'all see, we doing it different right now. We stepping our game up. We got Scar Nitty in here with us. I'm just talking to the fucking uh, I'm talking to the um Instagram people right now. That's on our seven one six minute podcast live. Yeah, we got Scar Nitty in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? We got a dope episode. This episode nine, real life happens. You know what I'm saying? We talking shit. El Nino, New Wave. What up, though? About this cold blood. Yeah, that's the song. Yep. And that I was using that song as an example when people try to act like, oh, this artist or that artist. And I'm like, but wait a minute, this type of artist work with that type of artist. Gotti, the street artist, J. Cole, the conscious rapper, they came together on a song and made a dope ass song. So you can't try to you you could categorize it if you want, but at the same time, don't make it seem like if you mix that together, man, you you you, you oh, cooking right now. All right. <laughs> so let's talk about it. The biggest debate right now is saying that um uh -oh. That that so supposedly Gucci Mane might have might have might have got your boy J Cole on his song. Oh yeah, I forgot the name the new joint. I forgot the name of that shit. I don't know yeah, shit about I'm that. Hearing the rumblings, but I I haven't heard the joint. I gotta check the joint out now because I heard yeah, the I, song too. I heard the song a couple times on the on the um on the satellite radio and shit. My my wife car she be crying. Uh -huh. So what you I think? I, I, I wish we could play that shit on here right now. <laughs> I, mean, I, could, I could fuck around find that shit play it real quick but you know i don't know i really ain't hear gucci part i heard cold part for sure but i, I really can't recall what gucci was saying we know cold been snapping though so Yo, he's been snapping snap cold crazy because it's he been, like doing, he been doing that though yeah he yeah been. people just catching up some people just catching up no nah, he he going crazier though he he's like the, Joe Bunn give good he he a real good analysis of, of the music part. That's why when Drake was beefing with him, like you can't really discredit Joe Button points when he talk about music. He he a dope lyricist himself. You know what I'm saying? He just didn't have the success, but he could give his analysis on music and you gotta respect it. And he was saying like when J. Cole was rapping about, you know, losing his virginity, we don't want to hear that from you. But the shit he talking right now is like his music is maturing. It grew up and it's like that stuff. It's not that he wasn't dope, did he? Them songs were still dope. But the shit he talking on that song with Benny, the shit he talking on the song with Drake, the shit he talking on uh, what's the other feature he got? That's the joint. Yeah, like come on, like yeah, 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 like it's it's a different J Cole, like and he going people tracks on a murder mission. Yeah, it's like, it's like growth, <laughs> man. yeah. Here we go, bro. It's that growth. 
So I don't know what you saying. You think you think Cole got him on that? I mean, you think uh, Gucci got him on that? What's the what's the? I, I think they stood. I think, told, I think I think they stood told yeah, the top, but that was Gucci did his thing. He, yeah, I think that was even Steven. That's his wave. Yeah, right. That's yeah, why he it. stayed. He did what he did. He stayed in his pocket. You know what I mean, like. He, but he mastered it. He mastered that pocket. Like and sometimes you don't, but he did. Yeah. That's one of the only debatables I would say so far out of the recent cold joints. Like, cause everybody else is not even close. Like, even yeah, if the, the other oh. person rapped their best shit, you clearly knew Cole had the best verse on it. And there's no knock on nobody, Drake or Benny or whoever he been rapping, uh Yachty or whoever, like Cole just went crazy. Yeah, he, he just I mean, I'm gonna say I'm gonna just say he 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 outdid him because he created the whole narrative for the song. Gucci just came with some plain ass Gucci shit. That shit sound like the same shit Gucci been saying since he came out. Gannick Bill with the Gannick Bill. Like, come on, bro. We know what you about to say. All he did was just say the same bars. Flipped it around inside out. Yeah, I got to respectfully Cole, disagree, Armani. My man Cole slayed his ass up. I thought Armani take, I thought your take was that, uh, that you thought Gucci had to, that's what I thought you were saying before you played it. That's what I was trying to say. That was the debate. Everybody trying to say Gucci stepping toe to toe. This shit was all right. Just because the nigga ain't off the lean off of that no more. We will be surprised, <laughs> nigga. Clear bars. <laughs> he understand the nigga now, so we give him his props. Like, I give him that. You feel me? But he ain't. He, he's just all right. He's all right. I like both of their verses, though. I can't. I don't think nobody got smoked, though. I don't think nobody got smoked. Yeah. I know Cole didn't lose. Yeah. Like if, if let's say Cole, let's say it was this is boxing and Cole already got the title, even if this went twelve rounds, he gonna still win off of the decision because he didn't get knocked down or knocked out. You know what I mean? Like it was still it just was a good song. But while we speaking of music, I got a request since we all buyer spitters and we about to give other people plays. I feel like we should rightfully give all of ourselves some uh, at least one stream a piece while we on air, man. With 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 some of our shit, man. Yeah, I agree. Right. You speak and you shall receive. Which we gotta, we gotta start with, the, we gotta start with our guests, man. We might have gotta give our guests uh, about about two, three of them joints, though. We got, we gotta let it. You know what I'm saying? We got, we this is what the platform for, like, you know what I'm saying? And he got a crazy catalog, so make sure y'all, if y'all watching the Seven Six podcast, tap in with Sky Nitty. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. Or whatever other platforms he got, he can shout them shits out for y'all. But make sure y'all follow him on Spotify. Yeah, what song you want me to play? Um, let me see. Um, my line. Say what I say. You, want, you, you got the um, my line of work. I mean, I'm on YouTube. It got it got the whole bought at a price. Yeah, my line of work is, is like the it's the, the third joint on the joint. I was just looking at that shit earlier. It's on um, it's on volume two. I think that's like number. That might be like number ten. Let's say my line of work. My line of work. All right, bet yeah. that. Yeah. Like I'm on my shit right now. Look, I, I got the shit. It's like it's like number three on my uh, on, on the playlist and shit. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you on YouTube? That's why you looking at. Okay, I'm I'm looking at Spotify. Yeah, yeah. What we talking about? Designer shirts? Uh, are we selling merch? Number coded slang in this line of work? Yeah. Don't fuck around when it's time to work. Uh, it's a mountain full of fortune coming in. We gotta climb it first. Uh, See, I ain't really come to play with them. If it ain't a common entrance, we ain't got no bread to break with them. Uh, I'm locked in when it's time to work. Should I remind you first? Doing quite well in my line of work. Yeah. I'm really hand in hand with it. You know the town about to get torched the moment that I land in it. My size tens, you can't stand in them. You never understand when you win some shit until you stand in it. I cut you off, wait a damn minute. See, this is our thing, and you ain't never have a hand in it. The world's yours, what's your plans in it? I've been campaigning well for a minute. I'm a brand with it. The bag's heavy, so I stand different. When the rain start pouring to the ground, I can stand in it. I plan a flag, do a dance in it. This an arena for MCing, and you ain't got a chance in it. I got the formula to scan with it. 
the anomaly of flows in the era. I'm a champ in it. I run the course to the course finish. I'm a movement by myself. When I'm turned, I'm a force with it. Uh, what we talking about? Designer shirts? Uh, are we selling merch? Number coded slang in this line of work? Yeah, Don't fuck around when it's time to work. It's a mountain full of fortune coming in. We gotta climb it first. Uh, See, I ain't really come to play with them. If it ain't a common entrance, we ain't got no bread to break with them. Uh, I'm locked in when it's time to work. Yeah. Should I remind you first? Doing yeah. quite well uh, in my line yeah. of work. Uh, let's get a couple things clear. I've been well beyond my years, even in my younger years. You need proof? Ask a couple peers. I'ma collect this entire year. Nikki in the Tangiers. The two train, we had to stand clear of the closing doors. Give up your goods or you lose an ear To quit rap, that's an abomination I move in moderation With urgency, what a combination With combination. that said, they deny me though Breaking through the industry With a 90s flow, still here to restore Truth in the city of lies Skipping the heartbeat to keep the city alive Lost in my progress Would you look at the time? Got 16s for sale if you looking to buy them It's an open platform If you looking to chime in A few offers here and there, but I'm still declining uh, what we talking about, designer shirts? Uh, or we that was my favorite merch, verse right there. I was listening to all of the work. songs and I got stuck on that one. When it's time to work, it's a mountain full of fortune coming in. We gotta climb it first. Uh, See, I ain't really come to play with them. If it ain't a common entrance, we ain't got no bread to break with them. Yeah. I'm locked in when it's time to work. Should I remind you first, doing quite well in my line of work. Uh. That shit go higher, man. So everything, the beat, the hook, the verses, yes. like that shit go higher. Like that's I ain't gonna oh, hold you. I, I fucked with all of the songs I heard already, but that 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 might low key be my favorite joint. Damn, yeah. My Shout favorite line. My, my favorite line was uh when he said uh he said I move he said I move with moderation, but he said but also like with a sense of urgency with a combination. Yeah, Something that's why like I said that. I remember that verse from earlier. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. The, the, you know what I'm saying? A couple offers I decline. I'm looking, and it's like the shit you talk. Like I like it because you you could tell you 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 learn about people through their music, man. Like you you could really know somebody damn near through the music they making, and like the music you make, you almost could tell what type of person you is. And it's like that's a motherfucker I would want to work with. Like it's like you know what I mean? Fuck all the bullshit. It's like you know what I'm saying? Dope MC and, and the content. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you could tell like people that's just good songwriters. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Just to me, you're a dope songwriter. That's that's what I acknowledge. You know what I mean? Definitely appreciate the fact. Yeah, yeah, I was fucking yeah, with that. It sounded like I was listening to everybody he just named earlier, though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Dude, yeah, he like more, yeah. more to everybody. All of the dope MCs he said he fuck with, he morphed it to the <laughs> motherfuckers, man. Yeah, no fact. It just transformed into all of them in one. Mm -hmm. Trying to bring truth to the city of lies and some shit you say. Like, I'm like, man, I'm just, truth I'll be locked is. into them lyrics, man. Damn. Yeah, then the concepts, though. It's, it's about concepts and all that shit, too. Like, that shit was, yeah, that was crazy. We're going to pull up. We really working. So, we're going to talk about this one. Like, what inspired this one? What made you write? What we really, really working. working. That's also produced by my guy, Guidance from the UK. Um, dope ass producer. He actually has some credits for um Mazelba too and in BSB on um, the Black Supreme Family BSF. Um and uh when when he played that beat, he actually sent me like a clip of it. And you know the time difference is like six, seven hours. And he was like, I'm cooking this one up. I know you're gonna like this one. And as soon as I heard it drop. I start listening and playing around with it, and I just came up with the hook. I don't need no hook for it. I came up with a hook, but the hook says, I don't need no hook for this shit. Just turn the stove <laughs> and let me riff on this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, shit, okay, okay. we really working, doing double shifts, and it just start flowing. And I, I actually, that's actually one song that I wrote the hook first, because I usually would write my songs backwards, like the second okay. hook first. Mm hmm. Cause if you notice, like, I think my second verses are always my strongest verses on every song. So I like write them backwards. Like if you write 
in like the ending of a movie before you so yeah that's what mm-hmm. really inspired and not just yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah that's dope yeah. that's fire i know i'll be feeling that way too sometimes with my second verse like i'll be feeling like red or blue pill critics i'll be thinking I went crazy on the second joint. Like it, it just be it be my favorite. I don't care what nobody else. That's my favorite shit. Yeah, for some reason it's just like it it, it just brings the song together a little a little better when you write that second verse first. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's definitely where I yeah. Was I never saying. heard that before. That's something I'm just. Oh, learning. that's what you're saying. Oh, you said writing your second verse first. Okay, see, yeah. I ain't never. Yeah, I ain't never even did that. I wrote it okay. back. I wrote the second verse first. It's kind of like you know. You watch a movie and sometimes it starts off like in the middle of the movie and then they say, but this is what happened 24 hours before that. Yeah, you know that's saying? yeah, Kinda that's like fire mentality. Like it's it, it, yo, it, it could actually work because it helps put everything else in place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's dope though. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. Yeah, facts, man. Let's get into it. Let's hear it. So. I don't need no hook for this shit. Just turn the stove on and let me cook on the ship. Yeah, we really working, doing double shifts. I just leave the beat burning, let me cook on the shit. Uh, I don't need no hook for this shit. Just turn the stove on, me cook on the shit. Uh, we really working, doing double shifts. Yeah, just leave the beat burning. I'ma cook on this shit. Uh, best wishes. It's too many to name. Big salute to those that became brothers in this pain. The residents change, spots been ordained. When the moves is made, I ain't looking to explain. They looking to bait, but I won't give it no debate. Using a buzzsaw, cutting through the yellow tape. They uh. disguise in their favors. Really, they trying to jerk you, work you, put you in agreements that'll hurt you. It's personal that behavior bring out the worst in you. Might have to mention details in the verse or two. We used to cut school doing the fire drill. Uh. Now they barely in their teens, firing on their drill. Yeah, the motto is it take villages to raise a kid. But who gon' raise a village equipped to raise their kids? Shit. This the talk that ain't comfort for your ears. That's right, you be alright. This that shit you need to hear. Uh. I don't need no hook for this shit. Just turn the stove on and let me cook on this shit. Uh, we really working, doing double shifts. Just leave the beat burning, let me cook on this shit. Uh, I don't need no hook for this shit. Just turn the stove on and let me cook on this shit. We really working, doing double shifts. Just leave the beat burning, I'ma cook on this shit. Uh, I switched up on my terms of endearments, clearing my mental space. Sharpening my senses, let's do business We all from the trenches, we all had plans that ain't go as intended So you can't batter me with childish type chattery I manufacture different, you don't know that factory A few losing seasons, tried to cover the spread Down by 20 in the fourth, now we scoring the head Never trying is an action that I've never condoned Being stuck in your home with the syndrome of Stockholm So stop at homes, I'm from where broken hearts roam A boulevard of broken dreams, you know that green day song Storm clouds bring more than them green days form They all let attention as I step to the form Exchange for exchange, step back in the form And lose yourself through the verse and get back to the chorus uh. I don't need no hook for this shit. Just turn the stove on and let me cook on this shit. Uh, we really working, doing double shifts. Just leave the beat burning, let me cook on this shit. Uh, I don't need no hook for this shit. Just turn the stove on and let me cook on this shit. Uh, we really working, doing double shifts. Just leave the beat burning, I'ma cook on this shit. Uh, really working, man. Doing double shifts. You hear the pain, though. The best music is when you can hear the pain in the music, man. You can hear the pain in it. Those are those are our favorite songs. Like, you know what I mean? They the real songs, and they the best to me. The best. That's the best music. That's I will. That's some. This is rider music. This is you getting your whip, and you just wherever you going to work to wherever you about to go. This is you getting the car and you put put. put Let's play. I got you. You don't got to skip none. I got music. You don't got to really skip none. You just press play. You ride out. Got two things to say about that track. Besides, it's fire though. 
yo, like the fucking soulfulness of that beat is crazy. Like that, 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 that that's like that shit. Just like it, it just like grab you. Like you, you got, you gotta listen to the shit. And then how the hell? I want to know this, Scarnity. What made you throw a Green Day reference in there? What the fuck? You gonna show that type of versatility? <laughs> that, that type of crossover yo, that one, yo, yo, that's one of that's one of the classic joints. And I'm come on, I love that song, dog. Boulevards of Broken Dreams. That's what yeah. we, we can relate to that, right? I was in, I ain't gonna lie though. I was in Clinton. I'm locked up when the shit had dropped. So I'm up in the north. The, the, I'm down there by Burma, down there. So I, our hip hop radio play that type of shit. So I was listening to that's how I got on to that song. That's dope. You threw that in there. How you how you did though. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I just was writing, yo, because you know what? I think naturally, like when I first started like getting into writing, I always wrote from a pain perspective. And it's like I had to develop and get comfortable with being more versatile, taking more, you know, broadening my horizons, I guess. You know, but that's like that song right there and my line of work, that's like vintage me. That's like 15 year old, 16 year old me just going, just trying to say some crazy shit like that you can ride to, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Definitely fucking with that shit. Yeah. Shout out to my guy, Guidance, man. Over there in the UK, man. When I tell you, one of the dopest producers, bro. Dope. Dope. You say Goddess? Dope. Guidance. God. Guidance music. Guy, this music. Yeah, yeah, man, I'd definitely be shouting him out. Yeah, he had production credits for um, Rock Marcy, uh, Conway, um, Black Soprano Family, everything. Like, so he he done he be he does his thing, man. This type of music, they, rock with. They get busy out there too in the UK. Only you know, as far as the hip hop, they get man, busy. Look, I went out there, bro. The vibe is crazy. It's they got a spot called the Chip Shop in Brixton. You know anything about Brixton? Brixton is the hood, bro. It's the hood, and they right. show mad, mad love. Definitely, they they it's it's a wave. They love it out there. Yeah, that's what's up. For real. Yeah. I say, uh, <clears throat> but say get it, get into some of our joints, Johnny, so we could network together with. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying. We, you know, we be trying to make moves with this shit, man. That's how we had C C G on here, who who also got he, he was on our uh podcast. I want to say like what two weeks ago when we was at the station. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, he made he made beats. Shit, I seen him at the show that Genesis did. I bought Genesis CD, and um, C G ended up tapping in after that. After matter of fact, one of our podcasts we did that night, we he was in the DM and we set we scheduled an episode right after our episode ended so that's how this shit it just moved quick like we just trying to tap in with all of the people that's doing shit so we all got a platform to share this shit and and let's reach let's reach our fan bases let's let's tap in with cross over with who who, who following us who following you you know what i'm saying it, it, it the music is meant to be heard man yeah man. remember one of your lines remember one of your lines cat i'm a fan first before i ever record it we fans like but we still get busy too but yeah. we fans. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I, I, I want to get into some of that get busy shit. We got Johnny shit. We got some of our shit. I want, I want, I want, I want us to be fans of Scar Nitty. I want Scar Nitty to hear some of our shit. See, if we can make them be a fan of what we got going on. And you never know, collaborations work like this. You know what I'm saying? This is all just heavy networking, man. Yes, sir. I'm saying, man, I'm off the blueberry yum yum right now, bro. My shit, I'm leaning right now. <laughs> I said. <hell>, <laughs> I got you. I got pull you. over. Pull over, Johnny. Pull over. Won't you Yo, crash? Bro. Yeah. Here we go. This Johnny Armani speechless, man. Uh, this might be the realest shit I ever wrote, man. Yeah. I feel like Nas, hood nigga that never seen jail Unless I'm headed down to the county to go and see El Shahida took me over to Wendy to go and see Trail Pray to God, open my eyes and still see hell Looking for me, little mama follow the weed Smell a couple whack labels, try to sign me in my email On fam hating on me, but no I mean well Crying 
think about I see Angie, I just seen Shell told me that I changed a lot I'm in college and I'm glad that I left the town, just being honest got my own homies praying on my downfall, only wanted more that's why I can't be around y'all but for this jungle shit, I'll forever put it down y'all, pouring up on Reese, they somebody let a round off I made an oath forever, put on for my set promise that's what I'ma do until my death Uh Yeah They say that everybody with you ain't with you I had to learn that Hardest shit I got wasn't given I had to earn that Rolling up a rubber precision and then I burn that Hold T in the drop with my wife like where I turn that Real jungle nigga blood relationship with terrorists Boss therapeutic touch your soul I've been a therapist Hottest in a region I think everyone aware of it Just might be the king of Niagara I know they fearing it When me and Sam drop 13 It's no comparison I swear there is no competition Pray up you my opposition Came up with this proposition When I ain't had no pot to piss in Now I got a lot to pitch in Catch me in the trap is missing Love you cause your top is different Throw hoes there are not this gifted Swear there is no competition Pray if you her opposition Came up with this proposition When I ain't had no pot to piss in Now I got a lot to pitch in Catch me in the trap is missing Fire Ride to that You can ride to that Fire in the hole Mm -hmm. Definitely ride to that. It got the bounce. It got that. Yeah, and I love the keys on it. Like beats, like the keys. You riding, riding through it. Like, yep. Yeah. yeah shout out my producer on uh, X Cute Mode. I was, um, Yo, Mr. Saga. Yo, Johnny. Stereo. I fuck with speechless, but can I get a request from you? And you know what I'm about to say. I know what you want to hear. <laughs> I'm gonna play you, you hear it I hear Same song, different day. Yeah. I know what you want. This what you this what got me. Artist. This what got me to become a fan of you. This was my introduction to Johnny Armani the artist. So this one of my favorite joints. Oh, he want. Oh, he want that joint. Yeah. I'm gonna play bodies. So these niggas ain't hard as my grandma, bro. Yo, bro, I think about Grandma Sism when he said that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. When I. When our cousins about to go outside to hustle with their friends and she make them sit down and they talk about the Bible for 25 minutes. Right. <laughs> don't get this work. She gonna give you that work. Yeah. Hit somebody with the broomstick. I remember the stories I was yeah, shorty man, though. You already know I had to dip had to get the Canada man. I had to get out of there. Right, right, right. I'm saying, yo, listen, I'm at the action, man. Yo, why you do that shit to that man? <laughs> yo, I ain't never did nothing to nobody a damn my life on God. On tech though.
straight to the point. <laughs> yeah, man. That's hot. That's fire. That's that. That's yeah. a body. That's that's yeah. bodies. That 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 take me back <laughs> back back to the DVD era. It give me that feel. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. You yeah. Hell Diva, yeah. Don Diva. Uh, what's that? Sub Zero. All of that. Mm -hmm. All of those. Yeah. So come up. Yeah. We. We we can't we can't do a podcast where we start playing our music without me requesting to hear that from Johnny. Like if we do a show together, like let's say we blow up and we do we somewhere else and he just in the back on stage sipping champagne. When we gotta come on stage, you gotta perform bodies in Canada. Like right now, we about to play that. Like you already know. I don't care what set what songs we did. That's just I don't know what it, that song. One of my favorite joints though is like you could let me hear all type of dope shit. That's gonna still be my favorite joint. That's still my I don't know why that's still my favorite joint, man. It's 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 mad. It's it's catchy. The beat is it, it bounce. Yeah, you, you talking that it's shit? A, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's aggressive. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's aggressive yeah. with purpose though. It ain't like, like all over the place. Like it's it's it's, it's like purposeful aggression. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ain't you ain't waste punches. Like you knew where your target was, and you hit the target, and you cut it in that same fucking spot. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so he already I had a request with General too, but I, yeah, I thought you know I can't say no to nobody. Yes, you can. You can say no to anybody and nobody. <laughs> yeah, this this should be rocking right here too. Man, appreciate it. Uh huh. Where real expansion of your mind and talents can be found. Cap. King of the wit. Yo. Don't nobody like me, nobody like me. Ain't nobody like me, nobody like me. Just sit around and write a diss song. Dumbass could have been on this song. Yeah, I hate rap. Yeah, yeah. Don't nobody like me, nobody like me. Yeah, I hate this motherfucker, man. Ain't nobody like me, nobody like me. No. Just sit around and write a diss song. Yeah. Dumbass could've been on this. Watch your mouth, check your tone. The weapon chrome and I step alone. Why would I answer? I call you bluff. You're like cancer and I heard enough. Like a private dancer, y'all all but. I'm a loose screw. What you call nuts? You see a dog dust in your carcass. You ain't waking up. No Starbucks. If I go inside your mouth, then you starstruck. Get the bars up. Don't press your luck. The weapon gets tough. You'll see it again. I never need shit but a beat. In the pen. Got a whole lot of beef gets again. Gotta slow it down so I can catch my wind. Used to be fam like Mexican. I gotta imagine they wall like the Mexicans. I ain't buying what you sell, better check the mail. Like blues clues, I'm in a lose lose. With your business mind when you snooze booze. Watch your back and front, no who's who. Been nice for too long with mean balls. Foreign territory, you need a green card. Keep cutting up and get a clean scar. Ain't buying what you sell cause it's make believe. Now everything up like a maple leaf. That's a slap shot. You a mascot. I'm for the underdogs and the half knots. I ain't wanna shoot, so I pass rocks. Choke cold, should I let go? No, I can't. You so bold, let's throw blows on my mama rent. I'm ahead of the race, head case like Jama Rent. For every little scheme, have you seen the beam? I'm a clutch player like Kobe Bean. Fuck haters, leave them dead on the scene. Only future plans is recruit defense. For the steal from me, I'ma shoot your hands. Have you covered in the sheet like you part of the clan? Got low to me, I'm like Madison Square Locals release, no, you can't compare Give no fucks, not a care in the world If your main chick a thought, we can share your girl Throw up on tracks, I'm prepared to earl Everything I say slick like a Jerry curl Yeah, I called you a bitch, you ain't hit me, girl Poke out your chest, you ain't the man in town The other nigga in charge, you take hand-me-downs Y'all brotherhood, get a family rounds Say what I want, you can't stand me, clown Better bust the move, don't stand around Bitch, you's head don't fit, no chance to crown There's a man in the mirror I compete with You in the nosebleed, that's cheap ticks Might not say a word when I peep shit You feeling froggy, better leap quick Fuck everybody, don't bleep this You delusion you know, you losing bro, zigzag on the track, I confuse the flow Muscle memory when I use the blow Debbie Downers need an uplift, this guy giving so I trust my gift Every bar's a blow, get a busted lip Big sleeping on me like a lazy boy, like a bad kid, I make crazy noise You complacent, it don't make sense Jump shot, pump rocks, never play the bench I own this, you gotta pay the rent I don't even rap, I get paid to vent Go around the room like a proud surfing Stay cutting up like a proud surgeon Tired of shitting on y'all like my bow certain One thing for sure, two things for certain Still king of the wit, talking third person She don't give up a cat, get curved for certain If I'm up the Bad, that's closed curtains, blinds and all, pissing everywhere, can't find a store. Hearing impaired, I'm just reminding y'all. Don't nobody like me, nobody like me. Ain't nobody like me, nobody like me. They sit around and write a diss song. Dumbass could have been on this song. Yeah, I hate rap. Yeah, yeah. Don't nobody like me, nobody like me. Yeah, I hate them motherfucker, man. Ain't nobody like me, nobody like me. They sit around and write a diss song. Dumbass could've been on this song. Hold on. 
I hate, yeah, I hate rappers. Yeah, yeah, I, I keep trying. Last time I tried to clean up. Yeah, I hate them motherfuckers, man. Let me get it going. Yeah, I hate them motherfuckers, man. <laughs> yeah, try to clean it up. <laughs> I hate them motherfuckers. It is to according to me like that. To the core, too. Not just hate. Hate to the core. Yeah. <laughs> That's Clayton Yo, Bigsby. You That's know, Clayton Bigsby. Two of my yeah, favorite lines right. off that joint. I probably already told you, bro, but two of my favorite lines off that shit. It was crazy. I missed this first one. I heard it, but I ain't really listen. Yeah, I called you a bitch. You ain't hear me, girl? Yeah, T Blaze was talking Z about that one. Zigzag on like, the track. Yeah, you, said. <laughs> you said zigzag on the track. I confused the flow. Get the fuck out of here, man. I quit. Man. I quit. I'm done. Saying saying that shit. Like, once again, talking that shit. Like this cat yo mad catchy is riding doom 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 because you know and it's it shows versatility you know to touch that beat right there and you mm -hmm. right on it you didn't run you didn't overlap it it didn't overlap you everything fits right in so salute salute for that yeah no i know nobody like me I, I, got, I got a request with the general johnny i got a request with the general uh 2020 vision part two it's i want to give an introduction to that song too like that's we call it 2020 vision part two because we did 2020 vision part one that's on the capsule album but when we did that one it's it's 2020 vision because it's me and bro vision but it's 20 bars and then it's 2020 vision motherfucker after we both do 20 bars and then it's another 20 bars so it's 2020 from both of us so it's just 80 bars and the only part of the hook is just 2020 vision motherfucker but we did it twice it's two different songs we got Damn. part one and then part two is the is the i think part two even crazier part two coincided with the year 2020. that's why yeah that's what i'm saying we, we wrote this pandemic music yeah Hold on, go to the other one, Daddy. Go. Oh, this is the first one. Go to the second one. Yeah. Why this limo? Uh -huh. I fuck with this one too. The kids are sickle. Yep. I'm about to say, you, oh, it's up to you. I'm about to say, uh, I'm about to say, uh, you could have played the second one though, but yeah. I fuck with this one too. Yeah, yeah, you could have fucked with that one too. But yeah, that yeah, the second one though, that's my shit. Yeah, that's my shit though too. Duck in the 90s era when shit was simple, easy, no big ass guard. He changed a hog, he changed it. Still good with a pad and pencil, so don't judge me. My reputation precedes me, mad credentials. Uh -huh. Go ahead, throw haymakers. I'm on jab and hit you. Not I'm it. staying relevant like Fab and Kiss do. Yeah. Do the math. Add it up and look close. Do it. The boy armor is stay intact. It ain't crack like cook coke. Sniffing. Man down, stand down, or kill 40 your throat. Bow in the face. I move too fast. Damn, can't slow the pace. Yep. Rhythm and blues, gripping the ooze, Rhythm. sipping the booze and blowing the stink. Uh -huh. Only one goal to it's one. Never fall off. So I grip rope like I'm holding my bank. And I spit flows, never show my age. Swagged out. General and cat make individuals tap out. And show them what this rap out. Now we ain't got nothing to rap about. You suburbs, I'm trapped out. I'm superb, you tap out. I got it mapped out. All squared away. He squared today. And like me and my brother, couldn't do a year in a day. I'm a true hustler. And I'm about paid. You new suckers end up on a new sucker. I ain't really about to play. What you gotta say? I ain't handling shit. You pass that or I'm in a fair in it. So fuck the call, fuck the rest. You know I got a rep till ain't nothing left. Why I cook it up? You think I'm a chef? Not Ray Quan. But I bang the meth The gray my right hand I swing the left I bring the depth So simmer down You can bring the heat In a winter clown Think I lost the fight But I'm winning rounds From the streets You never understand You ain't been around I'm business bound Just started Finish now 2020 Vin Motherfuckers I y'all flife and I'm tipsy cuz Can't go back to them streets too risky Bruh, niggas just shoot No fisty cuz And what y'all got in me shit to us Oh, what a rush Hawk, Legion of Doom I don't wanna talk Serve things with a spoon If it ain't about bread I'm leaving the room Niggas die for nothing What you read on the tune She's taking my way from me You need X-ray and zoom Six you laid Tech a spray and a shot go boom All by myself and I ain't got no boom Drop the album the general Salary cap coming soon You can smell in the air like dead body fumes You ain't expect me to make what you probably assume You don't stand for shit that's inaccurate Just stand and sit like Colin Cap I'm just focused on me, what's cap to get? One like to live, we might be in chapter 
the six And let you show us something after this it's your Fuck y'all, I'ma give my all when I rap and spit Go oh, ass track, the flow's hand man My bro rap crack, y'all get laughed at yeah. He time bomb, clocking y'all, get blasted Boom, watching y'all do the mad black Stop ducking us like Affleck uh -huh. I'ma yeah. fucking yeah. yeah. stay, you a domino Only half black, I'm the general With an arsenal, so pivotal so I'll start the show, y'all comedy No laugh track, a few snickers though I'm getting dope, I sip the mo, no snip and blow We tip the scale, y'all slipping slow We spit the real, y'all snitch on folk Hit a different cloth, rock classic fabric Do it, the whip, no automatic Manual, I'm an animal, can't touch it Far from tangible, the range Strange, but I maintain, why can't I blow? Will. You chick, dude, attack if you bite like pits, dude yeah. Back on the mic, let me hit you uh. 2020 vision is official Seeing clear like Cliff Huff uh -huh. Y'all niggas salty like mixed nuts why? See in the building, don't tense up oh. We really winning, 2020 vision, nigga, what? Alright, it's only right to go with part two then You gotta go to part two The other one you had earlier the, uh, on, the, on the Capitol Hill album You might as well play part two then that that'd be general second joint because I, I want that's the one I really and, and it makes sense now because we, we we just switched up the who went first so you if you notice on the on the first joint uh general go first and I got the two and he go last on the second one I go first he got the two middle so even we still on 2020 vision even with both songs like we're gonna flip flop it you know what I mean that shit was hard that sound like some um flip set um JR Ryder type Put, yeah. put y'all in that That's pocket awesome. like that shit was flowing yeah you appreciate it bro Absolutely. you already know anytime we all respectable artists so any salutes from each other that that mean more to us than sometimes for me personally than the fan than the regular fans because we we understand the lyrics we understand the music 2020 vision motherfuckers 2020 motherfuckers uh -huh. Yo. I ain't do it for the cram, nor do it with scams. It's more to it, it's more music, authentic or pure influence. Control substance, a great eight, important moving, important no more excuses, reporting for all the units. Not only did I say it, but I did it. Not only do I write it, but I live it. Boiling in a pot, it's hot, just like the skillet. Came a long way from selling work with the cricket, still selling work. Rehearsed on a ticket, had a rep, bitch press reps, I uplifted Even when naysayers was loud, give up, quit it I just rolled up some loud, set back, and had a vision 2020, the remedy for frenemies Keep the buck, knew it was a lie, it's never ten to keep Bad luck, see the sucker shit all in your tendencies Fast bucks, usually lead to long-term injuries Bad duck, for your main slut was probably enemy Now all these MCs trying, they documents falsifying Science. I'm on my chic shit, except you gotta walk behind us 2020 is 40 just like the caliber Bow. Meaning we come together to take shots at these amateurs 365, we live, go check the calendar check News, I buff our paper more than our challenges Oh my, you gotta spin that back That boy was crafted, that boy is that I know you went in the room, go stay in your lane. For Niggas is balling, home court, but ain't playing no games. Uh, Pressure get applied sometimes, but ain't same. Uh, Hush tech alumni, but never been the lane. Book smart, plus street smart, that's excellent range. Of the rappers getting shot, broad day, I'm respecting your aim. Collect my thoughts, then I talk. A lesson for lanes. I spit great, fuck clickbait, ain't stressing the fame. Yeah. COVID showed it how it's easy to lose focus. It is. When bogus vultures scheme and try to dope us. Genetic and synthetic, forget it, it's pathetic If you planning to get it, then you don't get it Man, listen, I've been stressing enough, it's time to switch it 221 is a blessing, it's time to get it No man makes it alone, it takes a village So when we re-emerge, fuck the purge, we bout to fill it We've been raw like hen dog, it's a privilege Wait your turn, niggas hate to learn, debate the lessons Too many years, ain't from struggle, play straight to depression One shot, I ain't create the weapon, this is a sacred session the message tattoo like ink can't use weed. every time do close to the bread they take them right out that mean your yeast infected when you least expect it corporate cap from correction knows but he corrected it yeah the street requested where the beast embedded don't let liquor lips control your hand when you ain't on severe damage can't even save with state farm i want all the green minus the state cause that smoke and paper in case you exit criminal mind left criminal ways ain't going back 
twist. Brother military, I'm a visionary. These niggas carry singing like it's milk the game like dairy. Okay. Telling tales like fairies. Uh -huh. They hear it. Every lyric from the soul, my spirit. Son, they hear it. Daughter, I cherish. it. She a custom model. Her dad a fighter, but even Tyson needed custom model. 2020 vision, motherfuckers. 2020 vision, motherfuckers. That shit was tough, bro. 2020 vision, motherfucker. Yeah, part two. Yeah, that shit was hard. Yeah, I think I like the part two joint better. I think that beat was just smoother, though. Yeah. yeah. It was more right to. Like, right to. But I don't know. I like bro flow. No, bro, y'all shit was tough on both of them shits. But I think the flow on the other one was tougher, though. I think it was more like, what, what I want to say. It stood out. How bro was saying it's like some JR writer shit back in the day, some dev set type shit. You feel me? Yeah, no question. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, you already know. Yeah. I the part two, my favorite one too, out of both of them. I like part one too, but I think the production was better on part two. You know what I'm saying? Like it just the, the times that what was going on, you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with part two. I don't know. I yeah. think we might have lost Scar Scar Diddy on, on a Oh shit! Yeah, I just noticed that. All right, man. Big salute. To yeah, big salute. Popping. Yeah, he might, he might tap back in. Yeah, he might tap back in though. But he might tap back in. He definitely, definitely, he definitely. For he definitely has some flame though. Like both of them songs you play, man, from Scar Nitty, man. Damn. Yeah, yeah. We definitely got link in. That'll be a dope ass feature. Yeah, that that'd be a dope ass stuff too. Definitely, yeah, definitely. I, I fuck with like with him because I bef even before the music, the energy. Like sometimes when the energy be right, everything else fall into place. So if the energy right in is dope music, it just make that shit just like, all right, yeah. We now we now we gotta we gotta cook up something. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you, when you mix the energy with the music, so yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, gotta be the energy. Gotta be right though. Can't really mm -hmm. create more bad energy around like that's just that take away from the artistry. So yeah, I say oh yeah, bro, back in. I see, I see. Yeah, he tap back. I uh, just seen something. It looked like yeah, he, he back, yeah. he back. But oh, okay, I don't see the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna let him give some time to get proper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to have it on a joint. But, you know, I figured we could end it right here though, real quick. We can still do our little back talk. Yeah, yeah, we we, we still we we still on the clock. We got it. We got a little bit of time left. So, um, yeah, just like that. I, I like that part what we just did at the end because it it's just showing us giving each other our flowers, us appreciating each other's music, and just respecting our craft and what, you know what we brought into the game. Like we listen to the mainstream artists too, but you know what I mean. Hold on now, like all of us is nice too though. We are. You know what I'm saying? We all are capable of making hits, dope ass music. And that was just displayed just now. You know what I mean? We all got hits. Right. And though. Right. And got the got the got the lyrics. Like the the lyrics is crazy. Like, especially y'all two boys. That pain, like that last song I think Armani played, I forgot the name of it, but like he painting a picture. Like, like not fuck fuck the beat, fuck all of that. He painting a picture, like. And then with Cat, you know what I mean? Like with nobody, you you ain't gotta even be where he was at when he wrote it. You ain't gotta know shit about none of the backstory. Just listen, just listen. He gonna guide you. And like that's what y'all boys is so, so dope at to me is y'all paint pictures, man. You close your eyes and just like you 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 right where you at, but you but you but you ain't move. Y'all y'all just mm -hmm. we traveling though. Like that's a gift. Mm hmm. I don't know this bro, bro. You back, Scar Nitty? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, we yeah, hear you. Hear you but... Yeah, yeah the, the to... yeah the background look beautiful right now. The background <laughs> made me ready to go take a vacation. <laughs> yeah, the background yeah. got me feeling tight right now. Like yo, that's that that that's the spot to be. <laughs> you got to yeah. go into my. Let me see. Going into my next segment. 
I mean, and dipped off into a portal. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that should be it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But did, did you get to hear get... part two, uh, uh, uh Scar? Yeah. Like did before, you get to hear the, the uh... Yeah, I was listening like the whole time and then shit just went crazy. So okay. let me see. I think I was like in the middle of it though. Mm. I think I was like in the middle of it. Yes, yeah, all good. I'm trying to get back on the um on the screen. I'm about to spin another one. Fuck it. Why not? It's a hot enough day. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but we could definitely hear you though. I mean, you know, we definitely can still hear you. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah I wanted to get back on the screen. Boy, I can't get gas on need more dough And watch you take off through a portal Pick your shots and put four stoves say Take off shots like a Porsche, go away Yo, turn up I love you, I love you Different cities explore those So high I can soar your way Take off through a portal Got me feeling immortal Pick your shots, never force those say Take off fast like a Porsche, go away Different cities explore those Different countries explore those They be like, bro, with the phone hoes But I got a wife, I ignore hoes And I can get gas, who need more dope And watch you take off to a portal Who need it right now, so your way Say, yeah, I was so your way Take off to a portal, hey, hey Cities explodes, but I can get gas on need more dough and watch you take off the old portal. Never force those, say, take off just like a porch, go away. Different cities explore those, so high I can soar your way. Take off the old portal, got me feeling immortal. Pick your shots, never force those, say Take off fast like a Porsche, go away Different cities explore those Different countries explore those They be like the phone hoes But I got a wife, I ignore hoes And I can get gas, who need more dope And watch you take off through a portal Who need it right now, I was so your way Say yeah, I was so your way Take off through a portal, hey. Crazy. Different. That was different. I, I like that vibe. Yeah, Johnny style just real versatile though. Like, like that's what you that's artistry to me. Like that's what I'm that paint. Like, remember Johnny, you was talking too about um coming up with some painting idea. I remember you was talking about before. But to me, that's what the music you do is like when when you when all when all your songs sound different, because a lot of people get critiqued off of making the, the, the same sound, even even the people that success. That's what that's getting the bag. Yeah. Be oh, all your songs sound the same. Like so what, nigga? I'm eating. You know what I mean? But when you could show that you could do different type of sounds, I think that's that's what made me want to work with motherfuckers, man. Like shit like that. Like listening to all of y'all, that's what made me want to work with y'all. So we we putting our bid in, Sky Nitty. Like niggas, like you know, we want to work with you too. But I'm telling Johnny yeah. the same shit. I only got a couple tracks with Johnny. I don't got an album yet, so I still want more music with niggas. That's a fact. Though. I appreciate the work. Sure. Appreciate it. I'm trying to see which one I want to go with. Should I play this um Deadly Sins? Mm, nah, uh nah. I, I, I would say probably yeah, no. hip hop. If it's something with me in general, I would say hip hop. I want to hear another Scar Nitty joint too, uh the, the you already joint, but um I would say hip hop to join with me in general. I think that 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 touch on a lot of just real hip hop shit. He said Scar Nitty, what? Oh, he got a drink called You Already. You Already? I'm still trying to get back on the screen. Yep. We still hear you, though. On. Yeah. 
Yeah, yep. Yeah. You, you right, coming cool. in clear though. Yeah. And the background, your background motivating us though. So you still good. The background is very motivational yeah, right now. It's motivating me too. I feel, I feel like I'm sick. <laughs> That's not praise. Uh. Let's go, uh Does it sound like a hit? Yeah, you all ready You prepared for your run? Yeah, you all ready Got some things lined up? Yeah, it's all ready You got now, not next Yeah, you all ready Check the scorecard, I'm winning in every round uh. Let them punch to they tired Then they hitting the ground you the shit to start a riot You playing this in the town Belligerent dope shit We all wear a crown you trying to take aim with a swag that ain't yours And trying to stake claim on the bag that ain't yours I drop in the middle of March, witness the madness Effortless when I deliver, how can you match it? If you want the keys to the city, you gotta snatch them You can learn a lot from these dummies, I'm about to crash one Might as well sit ass neck on the cactus If you think I throw it away when we just rapping What you see is what you get from me, it's never catfish If he ain't writing his lyrics, you been ratfish it's about who flow more furious, not the fastest. Who give him charisma and staff? Yo, hold the fucking phone. This nigga be bugging. <laughs> that nigga wow. said if he ain't writing his lyrics, you been rat fish. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. That's from the, that's on our story. That's on the story uh, 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 promoting the whole shit. Yeah. Um, I, I had to steal that man. off his page. I want to. I want to scar Diddy page. I'm like, I'm about to put this. I said, Yo, we gotta post something for you being on the show. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. You yeah, already, right. yo, yeah. yo, facts, man. Niggas be rat fishing out here, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> from these dummies, I'm about to crash. Uh, might as well sit ass naked on the cactus. And throw it away when we just rapping. What you see is what you get from me. It's never catfish. If he ain't writing his lyrics. You've been rap fish. It's about who flow more furious, not the fastest. Who give him this money style without the antics? Uh, does it sound like a hit? Yeah, you already. You already. You prepared for your run? Yeah, you already. You already. Got some things lined up? Yeah, it's already. If got now, not next. Yeah, you already. Sound like a hit? Yeah, you already. You prepared for your run? Yeah, you already. Got some things lined up? Yeah, it's already. If got now, not next. Yeah, you already. Some of your favorites are vastly overrated. Uh, it led to inflation. Now we overpaying. They wearing out, they welcome. Occupying them spaces with no contribution. I stand by them statements. The game is to be sold. Watch who you buy it from. Give out a few samples when you provide them. You read the story different when aware of the outcome. Big time is running out, and I'm learning to outrun. Now it's all flying like Maverick and Thun. You running your hood, who you purchase your block from? Shaking shit up this year, you gotta watch, son. It's about your skill, not where you find your watch from. Caught them in their feelings, order your top villain. If they don't let me in today, I buy the building. Like the first day of summer, somebody remove the ceiling. You become redeemable once you become a villain, uh. Does it sound like a hit? Yeah, you already. You prepared for your run? Yeah, you already. already. Got some things lined up? Yeah, it's already. You got now, not next. Yeah, you already. Does it sound like a hit? You already. You prepared for your run? Yeah, you already. Got some things up? Yeah, it's already. You got now, not next. Yeah, you already. Mm. Come on, man. I just like that. I just like the whole, the whole slogan of the hook. You already like, you know what I mean? Because that's that flick talk right there. And I like, cause he got in a different bag on that joint too, though. Like the other joints before, he's still spitting crazy. But this, I, you know me, I like talking shit. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of them records when you just talking some shit. That's and I feel like on this one, that was that like I'm poking my chest out. I'm, I'm, I'm playing my flag right here. You know, what I'm drawing my line in the sand. You already and I, I fuck with that shit. You already, yeah. You already, you that, already. Shit, that shit definitely is tough. I could damn sure hear him on one of the on that East Side joint that I was that I was trying to get you on. You feel me? That I'm gonna get you on. That we gonna work on. Mm -hmm. That's one. That's one. That's New York. 
That's for the whole New York that's, state, that's, man. I feel man. Like we need it like that, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see a boxer that's coming out to that shit though, like 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 towards Whoa. fight. Mm-hmm. That shit need to be on fight night. I don't know if they still make that joint. They still making them boxing games. That damn that shit should damn show you yeah. on on the boxing games. Yeah, shit definitely, on the, definitely. Wrestling games, whatever. That shit need to be on Madden. Fuck it. Yeah, Fuck that's that's a yeah that's a. You get hyped up. That's gonna get you you ready to go. You hear that? Right. You are ready to go. Already, to do anything, mm-hmm. it could be come on, going to work out, about to go get you some gear for the club that night to go body something to go get pick up your, your girl, like anything. You already, it, it's catchy though, because instead of just saying you already know, that's our slang. It's like we he talking to us, you talking to us, you know what I mean? You ain't talking to just regular, you talking to the nigga. like we know what you're saying. It's the slang part, that's that's yeah. what matters, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, what stood that's out dope, man. That was man. dope, I man. Was like, that might be another one of my favorite joints from you, Scar Nitty. I ain't gonna hold you. I was fucking with the other joint too, but that might that might have to one A, one B. Yeah. Yo, I'm Johnny, what's at the end? Because I gotta get up out of here, man. Let let, let, let more drink the uh the the hip hop joint with, with me and the general real quick. All right, one more joint, then I gotta spin, spin. We can do our clothes out and the shit off, you know what I'm saying? Close it out with some hip hop shit. Yeah. Let's take it back to the essence. My adolescence could make music without a message. Before a thousand thirds, traps was your very before independent pop cat labels was using leverage. Go orientated, no morals. You never made it. Historical can't debate it. We're talking. When you faded, horror show, spot up this rated, evacuated, emancipated, a ransom, a man should pay it. When a beef, not even deep, it escalated. Skip go to sleep, counting sheep till you dazing. No jail, unless the hotel's like dazing. Wondering where my day went, struggling with a payment, structuring all my placements. Baby in a playpen, no game to play, ain't stay another day in. Moved out, ran my route without the clout, inspiration over death. Education for dropouts, plot real cops kill before you get the cop out. No please, honor amongst thieves. You just grieve, trick on my sleeve. I've been gone, you just leave. Avenging like the Justice League, no justice for kings. Let's take it back to the essence. My adolescence couldn't make music without a message. Before thoughts and thirst traps was your very before independent pop. Labels was using leverage. Let's take it back to the essence. My adolescence couldn't make music without a message. Before and thirst traps was your bedroom for independent pop labels was using leverage what happened to that real hip-hop you know that old school by the beat jail hip-hop before fighting was cool and your pain game with the tool now it's all about sounding the light getting streams and views sticking to the rules is taboo now i'm really confused i came up in the air with the case slays and clues with the dudes who dropped Jews, pop tools, no glorifying. The hood was more to rhyme and it's mortifying. I we took the essence of rap and then infused it with the lessons of trap. What kind of message is that? I get it, we gotta get it, but we better than that. See, we trendsetters forever, yeah, I'm blessed to be black. Got biggie knives, I hold, gotta carry the torch. Big pump, pock, and L, see, this is serious sport. Every beat, we gotta treat like it's your very last thought. Put in work, I'm from the dirt, like the ground ass fuck. Take it back to the essence. My adolescence could make music without a message. Before a thousand thirst traps was your very before independent pop. Labels was using leverage. Let's take it back to the essence. My adolescence could make music without a message. Before a thousand thirst traps was your very before independent pop. Labels was using leverage. Yes. Flavor. Straight flavor. Let's take it back to the essence. My adolescence is going to make music without a message. Before thoughts and thirst traps was your beverage. Before independent pop, label was using leverage. (laughs) Come on. Yeah, come on. He said thirst traps was your beverage. (laughs) (laughs) And they don't get it. Like the, 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 fours and the similes and all of that like that's the that's the right. stuff that 
that that inspired most of us to start writing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We hear stuff like that. So but but and it, and it, and it, overheads. And I ain't gonna hold y'all like that's why I be wanting us to play our music because instead of just telling somebody, yo, I want to work with you, blah blah blah, like. All right, what if I sound like trash? Then it don't matter. It's like, let's listen to what each other got. And then, you know what I'm saying? We might be like, yo, we could cook up. You know what I'm saying? And that that be the point of that. Like, we got the platform to, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's listen to what we got going on, see the moves that we can make. It's strength in numbers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when you put a movement together, it's hard to stop a movement, you know? Yeah, yeah 100% agree, man, because it's, it's, it's enough. It's enough for everybody. And if we play tennis with put we could put this shit in the grip. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Every time one of us got something going, we we go, I right, homie posted something, we go into his comment. I don't have it lit. You know what I'm saying that's how mm-hmm. you do it. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's dope. It's, it's, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta know the team you're playing with. The more women rock with them, the better the team function. Yo, I got to I gotta salute you for that, Scar Nitty, because since I met you, and it's the first time I met you far as face-to-face on camera, but you even told me, yo, I'm going to do this, that, and the third, and I don't even know if I'm supposed to speak on that on air, but I'm just saying, like, uh, being a man in your word mean a lot, man. Like, my rap name is Cap, so I be happy to try to stand on certain shit because I'm like, they're going to use that against me as a lie. And for you to be the way you've been, and you don't know me from a can of paint, I don't know you from a can of paint. And we met on some being nominated for the lyricist of the month type shit so for you to do what you did and then i'm seeing your following and your platform like yo i'm look, I'm, I'm saluting what you're doing i'm saluting what you got going on outside of this but the fact that you show that love and that type of energy and that type of respect that shit go a long way man you know what i'm saying that's the shit that that make motherfuckers follow a person fuck with a person wish well for a person everything all of the above that's why you see the three of us still rocking right now you know what I'm saying? Like we put something together off of some camaraderie type shit. You know what I'm saying? Off of a bond, off of us trying to win. That's why the episode called Real Life happens. We all went through some, we ain't gonna get into that, but it's real. And it's like, this is what this platform is for though, to reach the people, to network, to connect, right. c- catch vibes. Even if we don't even record a fucking song, like you said, all right, we might do a show. You do a show. All right, we pulling up, you pulling up. We still in together. You know what I'm saying? We stand bases. That's what this shit is fucking about, man. It's a fact. Yep. And like I was saying, bro, the biggest form of um I don't even know how to fucking say it, bro. Flattery. Flattery is flattery. imitation. Yo, yo. Imitation is oh, the biggest yeah. form of flattery. Boy, I'm high as hell. Right yeah, no, nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got you though. We we know we know what you mean. Yeah, no, I know. I he, he, he told me that Johnny had it. Sometimes he talked us off the ledge. He he would talk saying that to me. I was pissed uh, off. Uh, you he said no. That's uh, what it is. We seen somebody doing some shit trying to follow. What well, we is all type of nut ass shit with this shit. I feel like I'm from Philly saying nut ass shit, but it's all type <laughs> of for real though. Like it's it's all type. I don't I don't I don't want to just say weird or whatever, but it's like I, I'm passionate about hating. I hate haters. I'm very passionate about hating haters. That's why I go out my way. To, to show the love because it's rare to get love. So when somebody get that to me, I feel like I'm in debt. Like I owe you. Now I got to outdo you with showing you love versus I got to step on your toes or try to outshine you. No, man, let's give each other our flowers. Man. We all kings. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't yeah. got to, I don't got to, sh- I've never felt that. I never felt I had to step on another man's toes to make myself feel better about myself. That's corny, man. So I salute us for being kings and repping the shit the right way. We all got dope music. And I just wish well for everybody. And, and let's just beat up at the fucking top. Or, hey, let's help each other get to the top. Yeah, I'll say it better myself. Yes, sir. Definitely appreciate you, my boy, Scar Nitty. Scar Nitty, man. I feel like it's shit that we ain't really even get to talk mm-hmm. about still. We're going to have to bring you back. Yeah, he, he got to come back. Yeah. Yeah, he got to open invite. Open let invite. Me, let me know whenever. Man. This this yeah, was fun, tomorrow. man. This actually made made my week, man, for real. Like, it's you talking about real shit, bro. I, I don't say a lot of shit that I be, but yeah, this 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 actually made my week, man. This was, it was dope to sit here and do this, man. And 
you know, it's something I love, but when you can get to have that conversation, you know, come, come together as men, mm-hmm. you know, talk about life, business, mm-hmm. and, you know, talk our shit about sports and all that, you know, it's right. dope. So salute to y'all for doing your thing, man. Keep doing it. And remember, man, this shit bought at a price, man. It's it's, it's success pains. Just look at it like that. It's success pains. That's Word a new up. one. Word up. Another quotable. Another quotable. Yeah, but I say, yo, Scott, don't be mad if I try to throw that into a bar now, because that's a dope-ass line right there. Success pains. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Make a whole yo, song. I got a joint. I got a joint called Success Pains. That's oh. actually my highest streaming joint. Oh, oh shit. So, okay. Yeah. So I'm going I'm to have to shout you out if I say it. I'm going to have to find a way to, like my <laughs> nigga Scott Nitty say, nah, Success nah, Pains. Nah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Nah, that's what we do. That's what we do. We, we, we share, we get ideas from each other, you know. In network marketing, they say, you know, we rip off and duplicate. Yeah. <laughs> my nigga sees. My nigga C's, oh, yeah. my favorite line from my nigga C's, he rapped too. He, uh, he, he threw a show where Benny and him was at way before the niggas blew up called Fire Flame Spitters in Buffalo at Broadway Joe's. But one of my favorite lines from him was, uh-huh. I'm stuck in the hood with a million dollar mouthpiece. <laughs> I'm stuck in the hood with a million dollar. I think we all got a million dollar mouthpiece. Like the shit we talking is money behind this shit. Yeah. We just got to get it, man, and stay at it, man, because it's, yo, it's no it's no shortage of success. It's no shortage of anything. It's no lack, man. We got everything we need to get there. It's just the bullshit and the detours and all of that. Mm-hmm. Once we get past that and get there, the shit is like, shit is like riding a bike. You never, you never forget how to do it again. What's it called again? Hey. Success what? Yo, success success pain. pains. It's on, it's on volume success. one. Okay, I'm about That's to go good. Yeah. That, I ain't yo, gonna hold you. Listen to yo, y'all look, that shit right there. That's all you need to do. When you hear that shit, you like, yo, now I get it. That's 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 mm-hmm. that's all it is. It's not necessarily a bad thing. When you start getting shit like this coming your way, you know, like, yeah, I'm doing something. That's, mm-hmm. that's your confirmation. Even when, yeah, when when the negative shit come that 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 energy, like you know what I'm saying? And Johnny said that best when he said the uh, imitation, the best form of flattery. But even the negative shit that come, you got to be doing something because I'd rather you talk shit about me than ignore me. I want you to see what I'm doing and, and come at me because then I know I'm on to something. But, yo, it's, yeah. it's, it's some dope. It was some dope music on this fucking on this live tonight, man. I ain't going to hold you. Y'all like I got my own personal playlist on Spotify. I got some Johnny Armani songs. Definitely got some shit with me in general. I got some shit with you, Scar Nitty, that I added to my uh my own personal Spotify playlist, but I'm, I'm going to be, when I ride out, I'm going to be, I'm going to be bumping a lot of, a lot of our shit, like just to get, just to even add to our own streams. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm, I'm fan general. You said it earlier. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan first before I ever record it. <laughs> we all are. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a great right. talk. Like sometimes I man. You know, because it's like you love it so much, but you love to hear somebody else doing some shit that's dope. And you're like, damn, like he was uh, he was doing his thing. So, yeah. So that's what I like to do, especially yeah. a self-funded artist. I especially love to, like, get the streams and the up and analyze because you never know. We may have we may make make an epic collaboration. You never know. You never yeah. know. I ain't gonna lie. I was, let me let me say this real quick. I was around uh, I was around what's the name uh, Pop Rossi Poe when I was in Arizona at the festival, and when I was at the Airbnb with them, he was sharing stories about trying to help other artists, and he said like, man, listen, he said if I help ten artists, I don't know if three four of these niggas pass me, one of them might throw me alley hoop. So I'm just helping people because we don't know where we are gonna end up in life. Like that ladder, you gotta respect people on your way up because you don't know who you are gonna see on your way. Down. So if you was doing you at, at your lowest point or whatever the case may be, you might need somebody to uplift you or or or, or, or bring you along. And that's why you want to build them good relationships, man. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, that's I, was, yep. I, was, I always, I always yeah, say that. When I, used to, um, when I started doing the shows and shit, I've been doing shows since like, I say 2013, 20, yeah, 2013 is when we really popped out, started doing shows. So I like, I'll be at the shows, you feel me, turned up, 
putting in mad energy, like actually genuinely rocking with the other artists or whatever, trying to get the number or you feel me, however, the information, the contact information. Growing them, they looking at me, they you, they even said it a couple times, like, yeah, bro, like, why you dick riding these niggas, bro? Like, you feel me? Like, what you mean? Like, it's networking, nigga. That's how you're going to network. It's how you're going to get the note. Next time I come out here, they're going to remember my name. Why? Because the shit, damn, they're in their phone, nigga. I'm about to call them when I'm on my way. Yo, what's good? I'm on my way. What's mm-hmm. popping? Mm-hmm. So y'all pop off. I seen there was a couple of out there. Yo, if I even get a couple songs together. So when we get out there, we're going to do the song together. Now he's going to bring people. Now we got fans there today. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. you know, bro. Yeah. And then once I start doing it, we, we went back out there and now we got fans and shit when we get out there you feel me got out there and we did shows i mean like i said we did a song with dude he brought his people we already got family there all right we got a little crowd with us mm-hmm. that's what i'm but look what you said though how that's how somebody that. called networking dick writing that's the mentality that's fucked up how is networking dick writing that's but that was the early stages because nowadays nowadays everybody's on that but Yep, that's crazy though. All right, gang, yo, we gotta spin. I'm gonna get up out of here. It was a good ass episode. Seven one six man podcast. Seven one six man podcast. Yeah, Bills gotta get the win tomorrow too. Tomorrow night, the Bills gotta get that win, man. We gotta go get back on track, man. When you talk about the Bills, you know we always talk about the Bills. I don't know who who is who who Scarnity, who your team, man. You from the city? I don't know if you fuck with the you Giants know, or the Jets. You, you know, it's a little, it's a little bit of rival. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been a Kansas City fan since I was a kid, and we had Joe Montana. You know what I'm saying? Oh I'm man, KC fans. So, you know, oh man, oh uh, we got to bring you back now, yo Johnny. Yo Johnny, yo. we got to bring him back for for the week. Now we already know when we got to bring him back. We got to bring him back for that week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the rival. Josh Allen, man, that nigga, that motherfucker, man, be having me nervous. He be having me stressed. Man, when he be playing. He be having us stressed too. Having, having yeah, he have us stressed too. He got us stressed too, though. <laughs> man, it's love, man. Appreciate All love, you, boys. Always, man. Love. Love success. Y'all be oh. safe, man. Thank you. Thank you. No doubt. Likewise, man. Appreciate Football you, bro. Sky Nitty, man. All platforms. Salute to Sky Nitty, man. Yeah. Everybody, Seven make sure you all tune in. Run their numbers up. Tune in, man. Share the platform that they, they got something good going on, man. Get them out there, man. 716, man. You heard? <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it.